on. Let me say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. We're live. We're definitely not having any tech issues at all. It's an illusion. Nah. <laughs> exactly. It's an illusion. We're glad to have you guys here. We're going to get uh, uh, Jess all set up so that we can have a DM for today. That's my favorite part of D&D is having a DM because I'm not creative enough to do most of this stuff <laughs> on my mm -hmm. own. Um, my favorite part is being able to DM like a person and not like a robot. We would love you, Jess Robot, even if you were a robot. But would mm. you love me if I was thank, a worm? Thank you. Oh, God. <laughs> I, I <guess> so. <laughs> Good question. It's a trick question, run. <laughs> my favorite one I saw was like, uh, it was a boyfriend asking his girlfriend. He was like, if you could... Uh, we're the first minute of the stream here, so be careful with my words. Remove me from this world for an extra 20 years with our dog. Would you do it? And she's like, well, and she asked a couple, and she's like, yeah, yeah, it seems like a fair trade. I was like, it's the <laughs> it's the new, if I, would you love me if I was a worm? And that's fair. Let me get the... I do love my pupper. Real oh, Rachel, tell us, what are we giving away? We are giving away oh. an exclamation point giveaway in the chat you can see we're giving away a crit die from storm crow manor spelled it correctly this time i'm sick as hell and i <laughs> my spelling's on point that's how you can tell <gasps> jess has Ooh, it oh, look at that Ooh. wow like light oh. Into it. oh my god yeah the light is really that's the, <laughs> the icing on that cake <laughs> <laughs> Is it cake or is it a dice? I mean, that's all right. Let's try it out. No, don't eat it. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. You're not going to down biting into this brass die. Let me get... Just... <laughs> you remember that session when Jess broke all of their teeth? It was everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Do you believe they got demonetized? Crazy. Yeah, I mean, who would have thunk? It should say in the chat, um, yeah, by actively, so if you guys didn't know, you get points. Um, we will do giveaways two different ways, and we'll kind of switch it up throughout. We have the loyalty point system, which means that for every five minutes that you are on this stream, as long as you type at some point in the chat so that the thing knows you're, you're, you're live, um, it will give out a point. You get points for donations. You get points for subscribing to the channel, which is free, by the way. Uh, it's got a list of other things, but I'm not big brain enough to remember all of them. The other way is by putting, I believe it's exclamation point raffle in the chat. Let me not lie to you about which thing it is. Liar, liar, casting <laughs> pants on fire. I am so good at tech. I, I'm pretty sure it's raffle. Sid, will you put exclamation point raffle in the chat? We can check. Sid, if you win, you don't get it. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Sid didn't even ask yet. You already shot it down. <laughs> It'll be okay. We'll get through this together. We will. We will handle tech. Oh. Maybe it's not raffle. I'll, I'll, oh, it is raffle. It's exclamation point raffle in the chat. Got it. Got it. Well, we give Jess a little bit of time. Normally, we would jump straight into things. But uh, let's, for a refresher, this is my dog, Ollie. If you guys are new here, uh, he he's thinking it's dinner time it's not dinner time yet but let's do a quick refresher um let's start with daniel want to say hi to everybody hey everyone hey everyone my name is daniel you can find me at you may begin on uh, instagram and tiktok and underscore you may begin on x and i play granny addy wayward i'm gonna throw it to jonathan hola buenas tardes my name is jonathan you might know me as latinos against spooky shit um I do spooky stuff, and I teach you how to avoid spooky stuff. But I'm playing uh, Harrison Bonifax Rabidon the Third, orphan, virgin. I don't know. You tell me. And I'm gonna throw it to uh, <laughs> to. Uh, you were giving us time to think. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was, it was just chew on it. You know, it's like a whole build my moment. Yeah, I was curious if I was supposed to answer that for you. Like, <laughs> yes, yes. Everybody okay. put answers in the chat. <laughs> Uh, hello everybody, my name is Scott Azir. I play Damien Frost on this wonderful podcast of Misfits Mismanaged. Funny story, actually, that almost became our uh, d d podcast name at one point. That's a good one. So yeah, a little lore behind the scenes. I'm going to pass it to Brooke Chalmers. Hey, Brooke Chalmers. Uh, Brooke Chalmers VO on Twitter, just Brooke Chalmers on Instagram. 
Uh, I play Vrithelion, uh, a fallen Asimar paladin, who now I believe is just Granny's personal paladin. So yeah. <laughs> I agree. I mean, yeah, everyone needs a personal paladin, and now Granny has one. Very so. good. Yeah, very good. Uh, and I'll pass it on to Bill. Hello, I'm Bill. Uh, you can find me <laughs> here right on YouTube at 10K Productions. That's my YouTube channel, uh, or over on X or Twitter or whatever you want to call it, at 10K Bill. I don't post a lot over there, but I am there. So you can see my stuff there as well. I am playing Bulwark. Uh, I'm, I'm a big old robot. I'm, I'm, I'm a big boy. I'm a big robot in this. I'm a cleric and an artificer, and I make stuff. <laughs> And, uh... <laughs> Oath of Elder Care got me. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Um, uh, and I, I, I I would pass it over to Jess, but uh, right now it, it kind of looks like uh, hi, I'm Jess because yeah. I'm in, I'm in the <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say, it looks like you're DMing. So. How chaotic yeah. would it be if we let chat DM? We're just like, okay, oh we're going to go down this and chat. It, what do oh we see? Oh, no, man. <laughs> it's a TPK I mean, every five uh, minutes, everyone. Oh, no. Yeah, we would be creating characters fucking constantly at that point. <laughs> I would just randomize it every time. So oh, yeah. Like, He's like, what's yeah. your name today? Dick Baggins McGee. Like, oh, no. Like, <laughs> so this is a great time to start Dungeon Hunters International, I think. Our spinoff. Oh, I think so. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. That's right. That's how we make our money. Mm-hmm. You know, let's flash forward 10 years from now. What are we doing? <laughs> We've already tired. Is, is Granny still kicking in 10 years? <laughs> uh, Don't oh, you take yeah. her from us. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. I, 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 think, I think Granny's going to outlive us all. Oh, yeah. She's like... definitely burying every single one of us. And yeah. Yeah. Very that sounds like a threat. Yeah. Yeah. Thing at the end. No, no, no! It's not a threat. Should you just, you know? Oh, dearie, he was good, Damien. He did own that boat, I think. And it's mine now. <laughs> yeah, it just flash forward ten years. It's just Granny with all of our stuff in a bag, yeah. going on a boat across. It wasn't Sailing a threat. Away. It was a promise. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's like painting the name of the fucking boat on there. Dun- <laughs> Dungeon Hunters she always said, She always said sleep with one eye open, and we thought it was just a. Fun Folksy thing to say. No. <laughs> Daniel, is your dog um, about to put their head on your pillow? Because I will 100%. die. I will melt. Yes, she is. Aww. This is Zuzu. Hi, Zuzu. She is a very sweet girl. <laughs> Sorry, she stopped mid like, what? Yeah. <laughs> I heard my name. Oh, they're adorable. Daniel, how many do you have? Two or three? I, I have two dogs. I have okay. a basset hound and uh, I remember Zuzu. the basset hound. Yeah. Basset hound's he, a chonk. He is. So cool. <laughs> he was here last week, but he's in the other room today. So. I'm not saying um, I demand to see him. But... <laughs> he will join us at some point, I'm sure. I'm, I'm 100% sure. And Bill with the cat. Where's your cat, Bill? Uh, so I got a new bed today. Oh, uh, so it's breaking it in. Yeah, or so the you? cat is not for me. Well, oh, for, nice. for, the, for the cat. For me, for the cat. Yeah. Uh, so That's the fair. cat has not really left the bed since it got here. Same. Yes. Track. Oh, hello. <laughs> I, 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 like how, good time. I like how Jonathan is now in the DM window. I know. Mm-hmm. All right, and, roll for initiative. And Damien is <laughs> Damien is just a black and a gray square. <laughs> I mean, that's basically Damien, honestly, on the yeah. inside. Oh, yeah. look into his brain. He's fucking just a dumb, dumb man. <laughs> I just, I love that. Like twenty percent of last session was actually. Let's should we recap last session? Well, we probably should. That's a great idea. I think that's a phenomenal idea, but let's, oh, Castian, the star of the beginning of last session. What'd I do? What? <laughs> I, all <laughs> that, I did was Castian, go give my everybody. doggy some food. <laughs> no, we were going to, we were going to do a quick recap of last session while we had. Oh, yeah. And yeah. Anyone want to do that? That's, I mean, I, I can, I can recap, but I forgot there was a fire and maybe I, 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 I did forget maybe the end i that. shouldn't but, be the one <laughs> but we we can bounce off then because i i believe yeah. it started with um everybody kind of getting to the entrance of town 
Castian lost their shoes and was fighting against the ocean and won, allegedly, while being haunted by a house. Um, Granny, thinking that they were lost and had taken a circle route, uh, realized that they made it right where they needed to. And Damien, giving a letter to a first mate, a, a poop deck scrubber. I don't even know who he is. Some uh, random guy. <laughs> dude, that letter's not getting where it needs to go. Um, Rathalian and Bulwark. Of course, we met them a little later on. And uh, Bill, what were you guys doing? We were arm wrestling the heck out of each other. And I've and, learned that you should never arm wrestle a Warforged. Because they yeah. will just continue to play until mm-hmm. they win. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we had some... I think that, that was some of the first rules I think we had. And, yeah. And I think mm. they were some of the worst rules we could have had. <laughs> you, you rolled a three and Rathalian rolled a four. Yeah, it was really the strong versus the stronger here. Yeah. <laughs> Take my strong yeah. hand. Yeah. <laughs> uh... I almost just spit my drink out. Damn it. It's going to be clipped for days. And we all we all came together in the tavern. We uh, did. With the, we found out after the session was over, with the absolutely gorgeous barkeeper, Loretta. Yeah. And Granny was the only one to ask her her name. That is true. <laughs> That's right. We were all assholes. <laughs> Even though Verthelian did clean everything for her and made her water perfect, you know, True. but... Hey, I, I also it. believe I called her Milady, right? That, I mean, that's yeah. fine. I gave her an honorific. <laughs> that's true. Brooks, Verthelian's just trying not to lose his shot with, with Barkeep. <laughs> well, now okay. that I've seen a picture, does yes. Work? Oh, that sounds does good. This, does, does this work? Does this work? Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Okay, what did I miss? Who's trying to make the moves on Loretta? Oh no, we're still we're just doing the recap. We're doing the recap. Okay, amazing. Okay, amazing. Thank you guys so much. I'm doing. We will do. We will give an. We'll give away an extra one of these Ooh. as a thank ah. you all Whoa. for your patience. Whoa. I think that, that one should be real quick. Hold on. I think that one should be loyalty based. And what I'll do is give you guys a second to type something in chat if you're here, and then I will give everybody who stayed through this. 50 points. 50 points. Whoa, yes. Let's go. Yes. The Gryffindor. <laughs> I know. I was thinking yes. that too. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for all for being loyal and and uh, putting up with Appreciate my computer issues. I just I sent a message to my husband through this whole thing, and I was like, I'm getting a new laptop just for this stream. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I'm like, I can't, I can't with this technology stuff. Anyway, I, I don't just know. Wanna... Whatever. It's. I Sorry, want to point out real quick. Sorry. Shout out to Sweet Tune, who has somehow watched longer than I have. Do you know how dedicated <laughs> you have to be to have a longer watch fuck? time? Than, than the streamer that? streaming it? That is amazing. Shout out Sweet Tune. Sorry, go ahead. Okay. So, yeah. we did our, our recap. Yeah. Where should we start? Mm-hmm. We okay, got well. Well, we got partway through our recap. Yeah, yeah. We, then we, 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 we got so distracted by Loretta. I know. Well, yeah, <laughs> expedite, expedite the rest of it. Sorry, she's hot. Like, what can I do? Like, <laughs> well, you should preface with happen. that, okay? Because that changes everything. Everything. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I mean, then, like different people like different things. It's right. true. Um, but then everyone had dreams, except yes. right. a few of us who can't sleep. All about the stars. Winking and up. short shorts. I was gonna say I learned a great deal about short shorts, mm-hmm. and I will. Use this. Damien, I will abuse this power of knowledge. Damien killed my father in his dreams. <laughs> <laughs> he did. You tell one yeah. cautionary tale and everybody thinks it's about you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and what did we all dream about? The stars winking out. Yeah. Stars. Yeah. Owning a boat. Owning Just a boat. True. Yes. So, oh, yeah. That's the reality. focal point of your story. <laughs> so, yeah, boat ownership. Boat. Yeah, boat ownership. <laughs> And I feel it. like we should we should provide people with like um, supplementary materials on like leasing versus owning of vehicles. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> uh, resources in the chat if you <laughs> exclamation lease question yeah. mark. Don't do what Damien's doing. Don't do Please it. learn from his mistakes. Yeah, the APR is right. atrocious. We went That's over the contract. Crazy. It's bad. It's very bad. And I, I guarantee like like some of you guys will end up like getting like video recommendations now that are like lease versus own your new car. <laughs> oh, that's fair. Actually, but, like, the car guy. 
for that a while, we got algorithm. really good ads if we mentioned home ownership or or loans for home ownership. So, I'm just saying, YouTube senpai, notice us. Maybe you have a dollar fifty from last stream. I would love that oh, real yeah. estate market ad. Come on. <laughs> Damien's paying the it. bills. What can he say? You know? <laughs> okay, so we, go. we met up with Loretta. We had dreams. Anything else? Mm -hmm. We walked. We, we, yep. We well, walked out of the cliff's edge on an adventure to the, the tower. Ta the tower. The tower. And then it was on fire. Well, the or astrology guild. Fire. Astrology guild was on fire. Yeah. The astrology guild, the astrology's off, the astrologer's office was on fire. The tower, I don't know, it might be on fire, but you can't see it right now. So, <laughs> oh, no. I don't know. I don't know. Is it on fire? Find out if you keep watching. Oh, um, whoa. Yeah. But yes. But before that, you had breakfast. That's true. Yeah. Very important. And Damien just Damien had steak. <laughs> Damien <laughs> had ham. ham with toast. Ham with toast. No eggs or anything. Just. <laughs> there was eggs on the table, guys. There were right. eggs there on the was, table. No, you're right. You there, added there was eggs. a communal egg bowl. There was. <laughs> is getting communal egg for bowl. His ham. Communal egg bowl is a great band name. <laughs> I was literally just thinking that. <laughs> you're, hey, whoever whoever decides yeah. to take that in chat and make a band, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, give us royalties. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so. Months. If you've been watching, like if you're if you're watching right now, you you will understand some of the vibe of of our little stream here, um, which is a lot of hilarity and occasional moments of um, of uh, like touching, like or creepy or terrifying <laughs> stuff, um, interspersed with ham and short shorts. <laughs> so um, yeah, so that's that's just about our our vibe here. Um, so. Uh, would you all like to uh, go and, and have a look at that astrologer's office that's on fire? Yeah. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I can always add to that. With, <laughs> with, with haste. <laughs> with haste. Yeah. So so as I mentioned last time, it is, uh, it's about seven shops down um, from, or seven buildings down from uh, the Cliff's Edge um, in White's End, which is sometimes called Wit's End, uh, considering the sorts of people who sometimes end up there. Um, and uh, the Cliff's Edge is, is the big inn, um, and seven, seven buildings down is the uh, sort of Astrologer's Guild, or the Astrologer's Office, uh, which is currently um, on fire. So, uh, and, you know, there's a bunch of people sort of standing around looking at this fire. Uh, Loretta is kind of like, oh, damn. <laughs> <sighs> Does Loretta look like, oh, design. damn, here we go again, or like, oh, damn... This is all new. Can I roll an insight to figure out if like this is absolutely expected? Absolutely, you can. Absolutely, you can. Yeah. Oh, hold on. I always forget to turn on my. We're uh, rolling. First roll of the day. Nice. Mm. Let's see what can we get. Okay. Okay. What'd you get? Sorry, I had to restart because I had my uh, hardware acceleration turned off, and those dies were taken forever to roll. <laughs> oh, good. It, it, yes, I, I, I just I just spent 15 minutes rebooting my computer. You have not like you have nothing to worry about. <laughs> I can take three seconds. <laughs> You're good. Don't worry. That was a that was a hot nine. Don't like it. Hot, you and your nines, man. Like I know. <laughs> it's, I only have a plus one to inside. Listen, I'm just a little guy. <laughs> no, 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 you're just a little baby. You're just a little baby guy. Um, I mean, she didn't say like, "Here we go again," but you know, she's. I she okay. What I'll give you is, she doesn't look overly surprised, hmm. but she doesn't look happy. Okay. She's not like, right. "Oh my goodness, I could never imagine this happening." But she's also not like, you know. Uh, uh -huh, man, that happening again. So yeah, that's how she's feeling. Yes. Mm. I, I would like. I'll like to run up to someone that's close to the fire and ask them, "Is anyone still inside?" Oh, that's a really good thing. Um, all right. So the uh, the people closest to the fire um, are a. Uh, there are two men. Um, they look like they're, they're they're like sort of standing close together. They they look like they're they're likely like a couple. Um, 
and uh, uh, one of them uh, looks like he might be a half elf. One of them just looks human, um, and uh, and they're just sort of uh, s- staring at the fire. Um, they do look quite shocked mm-hmm. at what's happened. Um, so you're gonna run up to them and, and and like ask if anybody's still inside. Yes. Okay. Uh, so uh, the shorter one of the two, um, uh, which is the human, uh, sort of turns to look at you and and, and says. Oh, we were supposed to have an appointment. I, I know as much as you do. Get away from the building. I, mean, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. This is, this is the first time I've, I, you know, I, I never, I, I, I'd never been there before. I, I, I made this appointment. I, you know, I needed, I needed to know something really important, and, and now it's, now it's. Is it gone? Like it's it, it looks like it's it's going to be all gone. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I I what if what if the what if the astrologer's still in there? What if what if he's still in there? Uh, I, as soon as he says that, I pull the shield, like I swing it around from my back and put it and I barge into the door. Wow, okay. Um can you uh do you have any I I should look at your character sheet. Do you have any like uh any anti-fire kind of like, resistance like equipment Oof. or resistances? No, I I burn like anyone, but <laughs> <laughs> so do the people okay. in there. And and right mm-hmm. now, that is that isn't very true. Um. All right. Okay, so so you you barge in through the front door. Um. Mostly on the outside, like you can tell it's on fire, but mostly on the outside, what you've seen is smoke sort of coming out the windows. Um. Mm-hmm. You go in. Um, it's uh, it's it's one room, so there's not like sort of multiple rooms that, that you have to look at. It's very clearly one room. Um, it's the, the it's sort of carpeted with with ornate carpets, um, and there is a large fire burning to your left. Um, it it looks like it's getting bigger as you watch, um, and the smoke is is kind of gouting out of out of the window closest to the fire and it's also th- the smoke is thick enough uh, that it's it's also coming out um, the window to your right because there's sort of two windows flanking the door um, and it it looks you don't see anybody in the building but if you look at the thing that's on fire, looks like it might be somebody in the midst of the conflagration oh, good. And That's I, not good. yeah um all right and as the fire you know as 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 the fire burns you can hear it crackling you can you know it, it's 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 starting to catch the the carpet around this this spot on fire as well. I'm gonna also oh. run into that building real quick. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna cast. Uh, I have create or destroy water. I was and wondering if somebody had that. <laughs> one of the options for that is uh, yep. you can make it fall as like a 30 foot uh, as rain in like a 30 foot cube. So I want to like you know higher up, sort of make it like a rain and sort of all around sort of where the fire's at. Just have it start coming down and try to douse the fire. And I point, I point, I believe it's a body in the flame. Okay. All right. Um, so, uh, let me think. Okay. So you're, you're creating water. Um, and, uh, and the water is sort of sizzling as it, as it falls on, on the fire within, I'd say it takes about 30 seconds. Um, and you are able to put out the fire. Because uh, it has not yet grown to the point where you wouldn't be able to put it out. So, um, and it's also okay. So, so the the fire is now out. The it's sort of small. There's smoldering embers, um, and uh, and there's quite thick smoke. Um, I'd like each of you to to roll me a con save, please. <laughs> Either the people outside or just the ones inside. Uh, just the ones inside. Okay. While well, you guys are I doing guess. that, Damien is uh, outside using thaumaturgy and just screaming, Get back! There's a fire! There's a fire! 
<laughs> so everybody I, in town knows there's a fire nearby. Amazing. I actually, actually, um, Bulwark, you do not need to roll me a con save because you have fire inside of you. Yeah. So you're good. You're you're not you're not going to be affected by the smoke. Um, but That's Kelly all I and, that is that is also <laughs> true. So I guess you do like a like a, a charisma save because you might have such all over you. <laughs> but you don't actually have to do that either. Rithalian, Can we turn into um, an air purifier? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I fight so fire I, with fire. Um, I, I have a minus one on my con saves, so, uh, but rolled a twenty, so nineteen. Oh, oh wow! So you're oh. fine. You're fine, despite your weak lungs. You, um, you know, you kind of, you find the the clean bits of the air, and <laughs> you are not affected by this thick smoke that is, you know, that that's sort of gouting up from from this this bit. Mm. Um, and the fire is out. Do you want to go and do you want, what would you like to do? Do you want to go I'll see run what over. Was... Uh, Yeah, I run over to, and see hopefully if it can be, whatever it is can be saved. Yeah, I'm going okay. to, as we're running, immediately cast Healing Word. Yeah, Harrison, okay. once he sees the fire goes out, and this being the astrologer that he was told to go to earlier, I think he's going to rush in as well. Nick, right, are they alive? Or have we lost everybody here to the stars? To the fire? Okay, so there is a figure, and because you managed to put the fire out so quickly, that that humanoid figure, it does seem to be alive. It's moving weakly. Um, it was wrapped up, it looks like, in, in like rags or cloth or something, almost like a mummy. Um, and, and it is, if you, if you look closely, um, it looks to be um, a human, uh, very badly burned skin, uh, so badly burned that you you can't really tell a whole lot about this human other than the fact that they are human shaped. They have two eyes um, that are quite quite dark in color. Um, if they had hair, it it's it's either it's sort of tangled up with um, it's either gone or tangled up with the with the rags um, or the cloth. Um, and the person is is sort of moving weakly, um, as if it's sort of trying to protect itself. My hand is glowing as I reach towards it. Probably the same with Bulwark. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow. All right. So we're so we're just we're. This is why this is why we have like a, a whole bunch of clerics today. A whole bunch <laughs> I of have done like shit. All the <laughs> Cassian's currently That's looking true. for the next building to catch on fire. So, wow, that one burned really that good. That one went right <laughs> out. Yeah. Oh my god, I gotta go start another one. How is it gonna keep warm in this town? Oh man. Oh my gosh. Uh, amazing. All right, so um, so how much healing are y'all doing with your healing word? Um, you rolling. Yep. Uh, I'm I'm yeah. gonna pump in all 15 points of lay on hands that I have. Whoa! The oh, wow. Lot. Okay. I'll let him the go lot. with that then. <laughs> if I'm seeing him do that, I'll let him heal. Okay. So. Okay. So so uh, as you do this, um, you watch as as this person's skin magically heals, and. The skin is is quite. It, it's it basically it looks like this person has like the tiligo. It's it's like you know very light patches and very dark patches. Um, but as the healing commences, you can you actually see that it's not random. This person seems to have quite dark skin, with with light patches in the shape of constellations. Hmm. So hmm. as almost as if they have a star map on their skin. It's not necessarily constellations that you're super familiar with. You don't recognize all of them. You recognize a few of them on one part of their body, but the rest of their body seems to have some constellations you don't really, that you're not familiar with. But they are alive. They are healed enough that their skin is generally intact. And they open their eyes, and their eyes are a beautiful, bright yellow. And they look at you, and they cough, and... <coughs> Who are you? 
I am Vrithelion. This is Bulwar. Hello. Hi. They they look at Bulwark and sort of narrow their eyes a bit and they say You You were without stars for a very long time. Weren't you? Yeah. I'd spent like a bit of time underground. It was a very long time, my friend. And then he looks at you, Vrithelion. And he says, You. Your stars are askew. You, you are trying to make them right, yeah? I am trying to right a wrong, yes. Stars will help. And then, he, because he, because as he, as he, uh, you know, heals sort of slowly, as it becomes clear that he is, masculine um you know i've i've decided his pronouns are he him he looks like a masculine person maybe he is a he they we'll see um but he looks at damien like just through the window and he says that one Tell me, did he buy it? I just made the joke in chat. <laughs> um, so I, I think it's very dependent on how you would describe ownership. Uh, some people would say that private property, private property is inherently theft, but uh, I think he would say that he bought it. We're, it's more it's more in the lease it might be a rent to own we're not entirely sure right well again there was this whole thing where you don't own it if you're still making payments on it that's what we determined as i come around from behind bulwark's metallic body okay so so he looks at you harrison and says B. these are silly questions but they're important. I shall ask him myself, should he come in. But you, small one. You. And he, his eyes go wide, and they almost seem to glow yellow. Harrison's doing that rabbit thing where he's breathing really fast. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you understand. And you understand this. And right. he points to sort of the, the stars on his on his body. That's right. You you love them. You are like me. I like you. You I will protect. Would you like to stay with me? I look up at Bulwark and Rathelion. Well, yes, but would you like to stay with us instead? He sort of has an almost quizzical look on his face, as if nobody's ever asked him before to stay with them. Is he still on the ground? He's yeah. sort of like set, he's sat up. He's not. He hasn't oh, like gotten up. So he's I, sort of honestly gonna, he's probably about eye to eye with you. Harrison. I'm gonna I'm gonna offer the end of my staff to like try to like pull him up so he can anger himself and and pull up. 
That's really sweet. Okay, he's gonna he's gonna reach out and very I, gingerly, as it yeah, is still I, sort of quite. Right, I have to go. Yeah, just gotta stretch it out and descend. So he's kind of he he kind of gets to his knees and like very very slowly and gingerly stands up and is a little bit like you know leans on the wall a little bit and he says i'm so sorry i'm so sorry for the for the concern it was a necessary sacrifice this and he sort of gestures at the burned area and he looks at you harrison and he says my I didn't you pick are. any of that up. Are you guys hearing it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. It's not coming in on, on Discord or the stream. Hmm? At all? Yeah, she, when she gets quiet. Sorry. I don't want to oh. break immersion. It's oh. just I literally had no clue no. what was said at that point. So I'm like, okay, hold on. <laughs> I think that guy's casting a spell on Castian right now, actually. So mm -hmm. I, would... I have no clue where I'm fucking at. <laughs> no matter could ever. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. Oh. Okay. I'm just going to do this. I'm going to be like, okay, baby. <laughs> Hi. Is Loretta around right. the corner? <laughs> <laughs> Loretta. She is outside. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, she's, she's, uh, she's, she's not into that sort of thing at this time. We'll see how that goes. All right. So what, uh, so just, so, so chat, just so you know, I am I'm not ever in chat like during the stream because I cannot I can't like follow chat and also do all of my DMing stuff and my brain my brain is is limited to only the one thing um, but I totally watch all of your comments after and so I will see them eventually so if you're feeling really awesome thank you so much um, I, I can't see it yet but but if, if you really need to get get in touch with me um, you can message in the chat and somebody will will send me a private message um what did you not get whatever he's saying yeah mm -hmm. oh just okay. then yeah okay it'd been on the to edge Harrison? but that was like it didn't even pick up on discord like like green for me okay all right so so basically basically this this uh this astrologer this guy is is telling harrison that He's very kind. He's 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 incredibly he's incredibly kind, but but he can't he can't leave. He's sort of getting up. He he like was leaning on the wall and and he's saying, you know, and Harrison is is asking him, you know, like to please come with. And he's and he's saying, "You are kind. You are kinder than anyone I have ever known." Cannot stray from here, from these walls. They are my stars are here. That is my life, you might say. But I'm so sorry for the concern. And thank you, my small friend. Of course. Um, and I'm sorry, what was your name? Well. And he looks sort of around at, at, at all of you. And he... He asks Harrison, I'm, I'm so sorry. May I whisper it to you in confidence? Uh, uh, sure. One ear flops down and the one perks up that he can speak into. <laughs> okay. Um, so he's gonna, he's gonna like sort of whisper into your, into your perked up ear. Yeah. He'll say it. Orion, that is my name. Do not speak it. Others will not understand. 
it may have unintended effects on those who are not star stuff. He stands back up. All right, well. Well, oh, um, I'm Harrison, and although I wish I could stay here with you, I think my journey, my stars are telling me to go elsewhere, but I need to know where. Ah, I understand. Well, I believe there are a few folks who may be waiting for me. But after that, I will read the stars and I will share them with you. And I will tell you where you can go because I know what it is you see. And the couple who have been, who were outside and were, were scared and didn't know if anybody was inside, um, sort of rush into the Astrologer's Guild and, you know, with, with their sort of arms flailing and saying, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, are you okay? Are you, what, what is happening? Are, did, 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 did they, what did they, did they do something? To, did, are you, what, what is, what is happening? What is happening? What is, okay. I, and then the, the, the taller one, the, elf, the, the half elf um, is sort of saying, I, I, I paid in advance and I, 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 I have every sympathy for this fire, but, but I really hope that you can do the counseling for us that you had promised because we really need some help, please. I and do not believe now is the time to be pressuring for these, for, for these matters, please give some time. The half elf looks at you, Vertalian, and says, "Have you ever been married?" I have not. Then you might not understand. Sometimes you just gotta get in there and fix things before they get out of hand. Now, there's something that my master used to say all the time when he was dating uh, that he would say this and I would never see him have another problem with this person ever again. And uh, I look down at, at this, at this person and I say, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> and I look over at her and I give him a thumbs up. Like, yeah. <laughs> I, so oh no. the, the half elf, Half elf looks at you, Bulwark, and says, I can't imagine that your master did very well in the dating market now, did they? And then the, never the human is sort of putting his hand on his, his arm and saying, Calm down, calm down, Henny, please, please don't make a scene. Please don't make a scene. Like, please, just like it's it's been hard enough for this poor astrologer. Can can we please just and then he looks at all of you and he says, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, folks. I'm, I'm sorry. He, he can be sometimes a little bit much. I, I know, you know, he's he's had some experiences that maybe make him a little bit more, you know, this is our appointment time. It looks like the astrologer is okay. Is there any way that we might be able to have the room? And the astrologer looks up at you all and, and says, Promise, I shall be here for you if you come back tomorrow. And looks at Harrison and says, particularly you, my small friend. All right, well, um, I suppose we should be on our way as I look around at the charred building. I'm like, right, um... A bulwark? Vithelium? Very yeah. well. We Sorry shall, about your carpet. We shall, <laughs> we shall leave the you be. 
the astrologer says, it happens a lot. And the uh, the half elf, the sort of tall half elf, looks and says, "You know, I'm sorry. I, I have to. I, I'm going to take. I'm going to take accountability for my behavior. I am very sorry for being over much. I I know I can be a little bit emotional sometimes. That's what I'm working on. I promise I will continue to work on it. Um, I will. I, I appreciate you you letting us." you know, do our, have our appointment. And, uh, and I wish all of you very well. And thank you for putting out the fire because I don't know what I would have done if, um, if, if our soldier had, had not survived this. I don't, I'm I really don't know. Uh, I'm going to press to digitate the smell of lavender. <laughs> I'll be like, right, you, you need to, right. That's my, my mother always said that was great for relaxing and for bringing down her blood pressure. So, you know, hopefully it helps you in your marriage. How much did you pay for this session? It's a little personal for <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I just look very intent. <laughs> the the half elf sort of looks at he's he's actually feeling a little bit calmer because of the scent of lavender. Um oh, and he sort of he he looks at Everthelion and says I paid enough. I, I'm making an investment in our future. So too much is perfect amount because I, I, I really want this to work out. Right, honey? And he looks at, at the human and the human sort of looks up and says, yes, yes, of course. Yes, of course. Of course I want this to work out. I, you know, we, we've just got some stuff to work on. Then I wish you all the best. <laughs> Both of them sort of bow to you kindly and then completely ignore you. You cut back to outside, and Damien, Castian, and Granny you. are all holding a mob of people trying to get in. Everybody, stay back! Castian, Granny, and I have this under control, right? Castian's in the corner trying to start a fire on the building. Castian, <laughs> why don't you come over here? And uh, it, why don't you come over here? We can try that after. No, no, no. See, I heard this theory. You fight fire with fire. We need the more second of the you heard, fire. I knew it. I knew it. Uh, well, oh, oh no. It looks like the fire is out already. So next time we find a fire, I but think. But if you we can make start... another fire, then that fire won't come back. You can't tell me that's wrong. I cannot say that that's wrong. <laughs> I can't. You are correct. My you science is flawless, and I, sh <laughs> I don't know what I've got. And I'm just trying to do sticks and stones over here. But let me see if I actually have an item to do this with. I have a candle. I would like to. I, and, and a, yeah, let's do the candle. I'm going to take the. T actually, sh okay. sh fuck that. Tinder box. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, um, uh, okay, uh, you can, all right, please just roll me a straight d20. You guys might want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> That's a 17. Silver Whoa. arms. <laughs> <laughs> as, as we're walking out and I see some of the silvery barbs. Well, you guys were in there okay. a while. I would imagine this is what we're doing during all this time. <laughs> yeah. Are you doing this while we're doing it? Or are we doing yeah. this? Yeah, we've had uh, nothing to yeah. do oh, well, no. yeah. yeah, if you're doing it while we're doing it, then I wouldn't have seen it. So no silvery barbs. Okay. All right. We're, so God, um, I'm gonna burn again. So you're 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 just like distract. You're going to uh, try to distract Castian. No, 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 no. If if oh, yeah. we're, we're still technically inside, I have to have line of sight. Right. OK, so you can't silvery barbs. OK. Yeah. Um, nope. All right. So, uh, hmm. Okay. With a seventeen, um, you do manage to start a little, a little conflagration, like just at the corner of oh, the building. No. It's not. It, it hasn't grown very much yet, but uh, but you know, given ten or fifteen minutes without any without anybody doing anything, it will likely. <laughs> I'm gonna do this to feel like the flames. <laughs> Okay, just like like eh. Are you Granny, using any particular you tool? Oh sure, <laughs> I'll come over and I'm gonna come over and oh, yes. I'm gonna come look. Oh, that's so great! It's so very good. And I'm going to pretend to trip and fall 
so that I fall right on it and I start rolling around to try and <laughs> put it out. You're gonna yeah, stop gonna catch on fire! <laughs> I'm gonna stop, drop, and roll on the fire. Oh, no. <laughs> Granny, please roll me a uh, an acrobatics check. Oh, perfect. I get a <laughs> minus one to this. Okay. okay um, sorry about that. Hey, it's yeah. great. Um, that is a four. Uh, oh, no. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, the fire, you aren't burning at this time, but the fire kind of, you, you're not putting it out at all. And then Loretta uh, comes sort of like, like marching up to all of you outside. And she looks at Castian and she says, did I make a mistake giving you those shorts? Did I make an error giving you those shorts? Shorts had nothing to do what? with the fire, and you can't legally prove that in a court of law. Oh, I'm also, not talking hold on. My legal. favorite elephant might be on fire, and I'm gonna drop water. The, I'm gonna upskin my, updo my water skin. <laughs> on Granny. On. Uh, okay, so Granny is in is in the midst of the flames. Yeah, so, I know, but she uh, <laughs> so you're gonna you're gonna put out about half of that fire with that water. That's okay. I'll that. go back to fanning. Okay. All right, so you put up about half of the fire, and Loretta looks at you and says, we're not talking about legalities here, honey. You can't we're have a short back. I... Possession is nine-tenths of the law. <laughs> I, I, I ain't looking for the shorts back. Then you can't get them, because yeah, you no, better no. start looking somewhere else. No, maybe, no, honey. Maybe a different jeans store. Here's the thing. Pantaloons. Pantaloons. Now that's an interesting word I haven't heard in a long time. If you cut them short enough, they become shorts. Honestly, I'm kind of you know, I sit and I think about shorts sometimes, and I wonder: Are they the sleeve? Why? Are, why don't they call them leg sleeves? We call we don't call these arm pants. Well, that's because leg sleeves are pants. Shorts so are kind of like leg valves. Arm. They're like leg valves. They let the leg out. And if you cut anything short enough, it becomes short shorts. But here's here's the other thing, honey. I'd like you to start thinking about your long-term relationships. I Not have just... no relationships, so I don't even have to focus on the long term. Take that, Loretta. Well, is it too mean to tell me that doesn't surprise me? <laughs> no, it doesn't surprise me either. Everybody gasps. Even though they're there. <laughs> Damien's just watching him. Oh my god. Stay back. <laughs> Quiet, she's getting burned. <laughs> oh. Damn. Alright. So Loretta's gonna sort of roll her eyes, kind of just almost amused, and say, You know what? Okay. All right. You're gonna help I with the fire. Great. Okay. Get on this side, and you wave this way, and then I'll wave this. Way. Granny, can you wave from the center? Um, in remembering that I'm an elephant, <laughs> I <laughs> stand up and I and I drink some water from my uh, canteen, uh, and I uh, spray it on the rest of the fire to put it out. <laughs> Granny, okay. that's not how you flame. I'm. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I got confused. I thought That's we were putting okay. out the fire. The best of us. Yeah. Next time, though, we'll fight fire with fire. You should see how many things I've caught on fire trying to boil water. It's it's easy to get the two confused. It really is. It's it 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 really is. I get confused all the time. Like which way is left? Which way is right? Which way is up? Which way is down? Listen, Where's they my want nose? You to I don't know. Believe in the left and the right and the up and the down, but really, we're all living in a circle, man. So true. Also, Loretta, you <laughs> has this has this happened before? <laughs> well, you mean somebody trying to start a fire after taking my short shorts? Um, give well, in your short shorts. I don't steal. You bequeath them fair. unto me. I did. That's true. After accepting. And then wearing, and then walking off in short shorts. That is the correct sequence of events, yeah? <laughs> um, I'm more talking about the fire that started in the house. Oh, our astrologer, yeah. yeah he you does just, that he does that sometimes? Like he starts his own yeah. fires? Oh, he but does. it's okay when he does it. No, no, it's not. 
No, he got he gets pretty burned sometimes, but you know, I'm always telling him, you know, if he uses different flammable materials, then he can have a fire that that it doesn't have to burn him so bad. But I think he likes it, honestly. I, I'm I sorry. I'm it, just you know? catching on. I'm sorry. He burns himself. Yeah, he says it's for like some, so he can be more like the stars, so he can oh. like commune with them, like, like as if he has to be a star to like understand the stars, and then he always ends up, you know, like you know his skin, like how it's it's got got those stars on it. He always ends up with some new ones after he makes one of those fires. Oh, all it's right. Been like that a while. <laughs> Hmm, all right, we need to talk to this man, I think. Oh. C Castian, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that we put out your fire. Well, I'll set you up another place you where know, you can set fire. I was trying to give a gift to the dude who likes to set himself on fire, and now you guys have made me look rude. Well, honey, you know, I don't think he's going to mind that you didn't set his building on fire. But if I set his him on fire, kind of I'll be his best friend, and I charge into the building. <laughs> and you see two very upset men arguing with each other about whose turn it had been to make the bed. And a man with stars all over his skin kind of sitting like this saying, I understand that these things are difficult to manage. <laughs> as part of a healthy relationship, but I would, please, I'm begging you, <laughs> allow each other to speak without talking over each other. Has he please. changed clothes or he, is he just like sitting there in his charred attire on a ta uh, on a chair, <laughs> <laughs> covered in soot? No, he's, 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 he's got his charred attire on. He's not, he, he has not put on anything that is more suitable for like a astrological marriage counseling session, no. Okay, I will light a match and toss it in there. Toss Hopefully it aiming at him? at him. Well, I'm aiming at him. We'll see how the other two fare. All right, please roll me a dex check. Oh, no. Okay, so that's not a dex save, right? That's just a or, sorry, regular No, dex. it's just a check. Just a check, yeah. Okay. Hold on, let me find... Oh, wait, that's wrong button. That's wrong button. Hold on. I found it. Okay, all right. That is a natural 20 out of 22. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Well... Yeah. <laughs> Um, I hope it takes more than just a match. <laughs> this is kind of okay, so you so so you you throw this match, and and you you're aiming at him, yeah? Yeah. It falls directly in his crotch. Okay. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> and okay, okay, all right. So his. There is a fire that begins in his nether regions. between his legs, and he he looks almost surprised. Like he, well, obviously surprised. He <laughs> he looks down and 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 he looks at he looks at these uh, these two men, and and then he looks at you, Castian, and he smiles and he says, "I see." Thank you. And he looks at the two men and he says, I believe, I'm, I'm sorry, I need to speak with this woman. Castian having done her job and given him a thumbs up is on her way out the building. <laughs> he is going to run very quickly, much more quickly than you can leave. I was just walking normally. And, I'm not. I'm not under okay. any threat. I just set his crotch on fire. Why would I be under you threat? You did. And he, and he, uh, he, he sort of goes around you and and uh, and sort of stands in the doorway. As his crotch continues to smolder, um, and flame, and catch some of the rest of his clothes on fire. And he looks at you with a with with those big golden yellow eyes and and a and a bright smile and he says did you know the secret before you came in here 
Probably not. Is the secret about Big Hawk? Because I do- I know a lot of secrets about that. Big... Hawk. It's a big hawk. It just flies around, steals your shoes. Works with the ocean. And he's sort of... Because he's in the doorway, he can see all the rest of you, and... And and he he looks at Harrison, with his fire crotch, <laughs> flaming away, <laughs> and and he says, "Make sure you get checked." <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> sure, he says that. He says that. He absolutely <laughs> <Just kidding>. says. <laughs> he says, "This could be you." Um, <laughs> there go my nice real estate ads. Bye. <laughs> 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 hey, I'll get back to the boat. Don't you worry. <laughs> <laughs> and and the, the 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 unhappily married couple are still are still arguing with each other inside, um, really about like whose decision it was to go to this astrologer. Um, and he looks at he looks at you, Harrison, and he says, "Did you tell her about the fire?" Uh, well, I didn't. We just left. Is she with you? <laughs> Think carefully about your answer, Harrison. <laughs> <laughs> they are associated with <laughs> with me in a very interesting manner, but to say that we are together I know of them. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. These guys have been my best friends for the longest time. I've never had a friendship that lasted this long. It's almost 24 hours. <laughs> oh, God, that's... Not a single one of them is dead yet. This is a win in my book, an absolute win. Harrison's <laughs> face went from, oh, that's the sweetest thing and sad to like, oh, that's kind of horrifying, actually. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, oh. he's, he's chortling at... at um, he's, he's just chortling at you, Castian. He... He finds you incredibly amusing. He snaps his fingers and the fire goes out. I was about to do that. That's good. I'm glad he took care of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did. Um, there, there, there are still a few scraps covering up um, his nether regions. Uh, he probably wouldn't want to uh, move too quickly. They might fall off, but they have not yet. <laughs> he is still decent. Um, hey, dinner and a show. <laughs> and he... Um, and he says... He, he looks at you, Harrison, and, and he says, she does not know what she does not know. She is like this for a reason. She will not always be like this. Bet. Keep her safe. <laughs> You'll be glad you did. And he looks at you, Damien, and he says, I hope you leased that thing. I don't know who the fuck he you are. Back <laughs> <laughs> he walks like... back inside, closes the door, and you can hear him saying to to uh, to, to the, the the married couple saying, "I I'm sorry that it that that doesn't normally happen. Let's sit and talk this out, shall we?" And the door's locked. Note to self, boat talk makes Damien aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Guys, who was that guy that uh, just told me that he hoped I leased my boat? The astrologer, please. Yes. Guys, when you went in there, he, yeah, oh, you set him on fire, but was he on fire before? That's what was on oh, yeah. fire. Oh, oh yeah. he was fully involved in flame, yes. All Loretta the world looks is at a circle. We bring it back to once was, is now is, and was with be again. <laughs> Loretta looks at you, Castian, and says, You know, honey, I am shocked. You're still alive right now. Obviously, there's something more to you. I can tell. I think they can tell. Please just do me a favor. Just try not to die before you remember what you forgot. Because you forgot something. 
a promise I can't keep because I've already forgotten it and that seems like, have you seen me? I, I will probably die sometime soon. But I'll have short shirts and I'll look fabulous doing it. Yeah, we love no ourselves for the queen. <laughs> <laughs> as much as I regret saying this, I do hope I see you sooner rather than later. And then Loretta walks back to the inn. I lean towards Granny. She's, sort of, She's hitting on me. You think I got a chance? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> it's the shorts. <laughs> I think so. I love Granny. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Oh. All right, so the door is locked to the astrologer's office. He's in there giving marriage counseling to a, some very dis, a very dysfunctional uh, half elf human gay couple. Um, Loretta's <laughs> back at the inn, um, and you are in front of a still slightly smoking but uh, no longer on fire building. Wait, so okay, did you all talk? You got a chance to talk to him. What did he say? He seems to know a little bit about all of us. Well, I mean, if you know how to read the stars, you can pretty much know anything about everyone, I suppose. But He's very cryptic for a man who has been setting himself on fire. Right, there is that bit. You know what I just realized is that uh, <laughs> I actually don't have any uh, issues with fire. I actually don't burn at all. So, uh, hey, good job, everybody going else in there besides me. I kept the <laughs> peace out here, I'll tell you that much. And Real you did a... You did a great job. Thanks, Granny. You too. I saw what you did out there. I didn't see anything she did, guys, honestly. <laughs> well, we've... A hawk, a hawk uh, soars by wearing one of Castian's shoes on it. You one son of a... By enormous feet. Bird! <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to yell at it. We're good. I've done my... Um, just so it knows, I remember. Mm. I could throw my dagger at that hawk if you want that shoe back. Don't hurt Ooh. Big Hawk. This is between him and me. I'll take Hawk down. Well, let's see it. Well, not now. He's way up there. He's got to be oh. a little lower. I'm not. I can't fly up there. Don't chuck me. Bring him. Bring him down. You know. Kaka in his ass. Kaka. <laughs> Kaka. I don't think that's what hawks say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Hawks notoriously known for Kaka. Yeah. Kaka. Kaka. I mean, yeah. I mean, oh, I could be man. wrong. I don't know. Apparently, I don't know that squirrels don't like that squirrels live in the forest. Yes. And that I do. was gonna say. So, I'm not <laughs> maybe the most animal literate of humans. <laughs> but that's okay. You think okay. your raccoon rents the room next to you know the the condo down the street from you? All right, it's uh, okay. Say Kaka. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. I'll allow it. Thank you, thank you. You're Some welcome. All right, so the, the hawk somehow goes Kaka! -ka! As it, as it like soars, probably <laughs> like 500 feet in the air, with Guys? one of Castian's favorite shoes. And ah, uh, there he goes. Uh, we could have got him. All right, well, he drops the shoe. shoe onto your boat, Damien. Oh. Ah. which you can Damien still see goes, uh... in the distance in the harbor. Casting your shoe is available on my owned boat. Your I think now, uh, boat. If we can get permission I, from the actual owners of the boat, I am so on board, literally. I yeah. actually think I technically own your shoe now. Uh, nine tenths is a uh, priority of the law. I don't know if that's the full saying, honestly, but it's like, you know. So if nice. I'm on the boat, I own your boat and I'm charging off towards the boat. No, and uh, he's going to run right past her and hopefully beat her. <laughs> oh, bring it! He was going to use the uh, command spell to uh, say <laughs> alt. So wisdom Ooh. saving throw of 13. So it begins. God, it's a natural one. one. It was almost 19. Six. Uh, and Damien the laughs. Leasing, the leasing company owns the shoe. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's collateral if he doesn't make the payment on the boat. It's collateral. That's right. Oh my gosh. Right, well. So you actually also then hear a much larger, much louder caw -caw from the direction <laughs> of the tower. Oh! Yeah, on the other side of town. Did you all hear that? And then you hear that... a clap of thunder. Even though the sky is pretty much cloudless. Is it? It's still early morning, isn't it? Uh, yeah. It's like, you know, sort of 9.30 a.m. 
ish. Yeah. Okay. We needed to go that way anyway. Yes. All right. We were supposed to go to the tower, not the astrologer. All right. Well, we can head there. Are are Damien Castian still with us? <laughs> uh, I Damien's believe that Damien has has uh, has ensured that Castian stopped because mm -hmm. he managed to command her to stop. How long does that last for, by the way? Uh, forever. Uh, <laughs> I don't think it's see. forever. Six seconds. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It's long enough to fucking you know. Get what, to yeah. Boat. Are you gonna? Are you gonna like pick her up? Are you? What? How are? How are you going to stop her? If you are going to stop her from continuing to go towards the boat, to get her shoe. Uh, Damien cast the uh, halt spell and then picks her up in his arm and is running towards that. <laughs> and as she becomes, I assume, loose eventually, she's like not like rigor mortis kind of thing now. Mm -hmm. He's going to uh, <laughs> push her back a little bit so he gets a little leeway. Interesting. And what are the rest of you doing while this is happening? I'm heading towards the tower. Okay. I'm just kind of confused and watching, I think. <laughs> uh, yeah, same. I'm like, hmm, all right. Just keep an eye on them, and when they're done doing what they're doing, we can wave them along with us. There's another thunderclap. And Harrison, you and only you, See, as the thunder rolls, the sky suddenly goes black, and the stars are bright in the sky. They are in a configuration that suggests that there is some urgency to do something. Please roll me an insight check. Why the one really? Come on, I haven't been I'm rolling sorry. good on that. I'm sorry. You're, you're, you're an astrology buff with a minus one to insight. I'm sorry you did this to yourself. I don't have a minus one, I have a plus one. Arguably, almost okay, you four. know what? You know what? I'll let you roll Arcana. I'll let you roll Arcana. Love you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> it's okay. There we go. See you at 19. Ooh. Hey. Ooh. Hey. Well, then, in that case, you use your you know, your, your powers of intuition and also your long years of study of the stars. And even in just a split second, they, they're, they're so, like the, the, the patterns are so ingrained in your mind that you can tell this isn't just urgency. This is a life or death situation. You must get to somebody who knows. Somebody who knows how to deal with a situation like you're, like the one that you're in. And you also can tell that this is a message sent from somebody. And then a split second later after the thunder, the sky goes back to 9.30 a.m. And you are the only one who can see this. Harrison had been walking with Rithelion, um, but stopped. And I don't know if, if they would notice, but he's he's doing again the rapid thing, where just kind of staring forward and doing the heavy breathing. Um, Are you all right? I'm not sure, but we need we need help. The stars are sending messages. Somebody's sending messages. Hmm. And I don't know if the astrologer can help us or if we need to go to the tower. I find it interesting that we have dreams of stars. Hmm. We wake up, we've rescued a man covered in stars. And now this, this, it cannot be coincidence. And that when it comes to the stars, they have a story to tell. There's another thunderclap and granny You, in that split second, this is only you can perceive this. It feels almost as though you have fallen asleep and you're dreaming. And you know that you're not because you can't, but it feels 
strongly as though you have. And the feeling is incredibly powerful and incredibly nostalgic. In some ways, you wish it would last forever. In some ways, it's now so unfamiliar to you that it's terrifying. And you see the face of a woman about 40, who you know very well, who's family to you. And she smiles brilliantly, and she whispers to you, I wish you could sleep, too. She disappears. The day goes back to normal. You're awake. It's 9.30 a.m. Oh, all right. Um, okay. Um, Harrison. I realized I was muted. Um, <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Just, uh, just, just turns head, and you can see their their chest quickly rising and falling. I think we need to go to the tower. Yes, immediately. Um, Damien, could you? I, I I hate to say it this way. Hurry up, with Castian. Ah. And Damien's like, oh, how far is his boat? Away from you? Oh, you're, oh, you kept, how far right, is you the boat running, away from you? Kept running down. <laughs> I'm running towards the boat this whole time right. with Cassie. Damien. Yeah, the boat, the boat is probably about the length of a football field away. Um, because you, you're, you, it's, uh, it's, 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 a do it's docked at, at a dock, um, just on the other side of the inn, uh, mm -hmm. from where you all are. My brother in Christ. I mean, Damien has no idea what's happening here, and Castian and him have been booking it towards the boat. Uh, so Damien is trying to get to the boat to get to the shoe, to then... Yeah, what are you going to do with the shoe, Damien? What are you going to do with You'll my shoe? You'll find out when we get to the boat. I assume you have we're no running shoe. Like... You already have two of them. If you're still running, yeah, I'm going to cast Dancing Lights. And I got a 120 foot range. I should be able to just get it into your field of vision and yeah, have them like yeah. hover to try to get your attention. Uh, I feel like Damien's pretty fixated on getting that shoe, not gonna lie. Okay. Um, That's fine. He can definitely see that there was some lights uh, and he's gonna say to the Castian uh, and just grab her real quick. Wait, 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 wait. Did you see those lights? What is that light? They're, they're kind of doing the like UFO thing that you see. It's they're just they're just they look like shooting stars, and they just keep zipping kind of back and forth, trying to get your attention. If you lock eyes with it, they slowly, like try to pull your vision back up the hill towards us. Look over here. Yeah. <laughs> look over here. <laughs> I wonder if you, I'm gonna look up the. I, I mean, I've, I I'm gonna look up the spell to see if you can like write things in the air with them. Uh, you create up to four torch sized lights within range, making them appear as torches, lanterns, or glowing orbs that hover in the air for yeah, the duration. They hover. You can combine the four lights into one glowing, vaguely humanoid form of medium size. Oh, I didn't read that part. I'm gonna make it look like me then. Oh. Ooh. You're, it's gonna be like like this little celestial rabbit, and it's gonna be like like gesturing <gasps> for you to turn, and like pointing. Oh this God, very they Peter. Killed Harrison. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God, he's dead. He's become the very <laughs> it does look like he's made out of constellations. Yeah. Casting oh There's Harrison right there. Oh my god, he's dead. Big Hawk must have got him. It was the shoe as a distraction. And this illusory Damien. thing can't hear or like give me information, yeah. so Damien's gonna look afraid. towards like that area, I guess, where like the his little figure's like pushing this way. Oh wait, no, there he is. Oh my god. <sighs> okay, he's still alive. He's I don't know what he he's like. <laughs> yeah, we're all Damien doing this. Just gonna wave. We're like waving, like, like yeah, hi. Yeah. yeah, and uh, he's gonna cast message. Uh, you point your finger towards a creature within range and whisper a message. He's just gonna lock with uh, bulwark. Hey, buddy. Uh, it's Damien <laughs> and Castian. Hey. hey, we're gonna get the shoe. Tell Bulwark to send my love. Also, uh, let him know he's standing next to a zombie. And I point Caspian to sends her love, and uh, you're standing next to a zombie. That part's not entirely true, in my opinion. Uh, 
he hears the message and can reply in a whisper that only you can hear. I love that we, you're like sending him a voicemail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're like in, we can see each other and it's still. Yeah. <laughs> I love that you said, like, hey, man, it's me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so I start all his messages, you know? Uh, hello, we're trying, we're, we're going to the tower. It seems really urgent. Uh, the part that you said wasn't true, so she doesn't send her love? <laughs> we gotta get to the tower, though. Forget the shoe, we'll get it later. <laughs> uh, Castian, he says that he wasn't sure about your love and that. There's something going on in the tower. It's urgent, and we need to forget the shoe. Uh, uh, you know, I, the shoe is kind of fun. I wanted to grab the shoe real quick. But, I do. Uh, I want to see another zombie up close, so my shoe can wait, and I'll walk over. Okay, I'll walk with you. <laughs> and he's going to push her are... and run and keep running no, towards son the shoe. I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> he's not kidding. He's just not running towards the shoe anymore. He's running towards the group. <laughs> How funny, though, would it yeah, be? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, can you imagine? Yeah. Like, ah, like, falls into the water. Uh, if he had Dimension Door, it would have been over, though. I would have grabbed that motherfucking shit. <laughs> Real quick. Just know a couple One levels day. later. Get ready, guys. We'll get the shoe. Yeah, watch it be like a, like a, like a Manola Blahnik. Um, <laughs> so, um, so those of you who are, who are looking in the direction of the tower, you see an enormous bolt of lightning um, just, uh, just, like, from the cloudless sky, just, uh, hit something, and, and, again, the tower is, is still a little bit out of sight, it's just around a bend, but you see this, this huge bolt of lightning, um, that just sears down to hit something, and as the thunder comes in, very, very quickly, because the, the lightning is very close to you, you hear an inhuman scream, like a shriek. You can't tell if it's of anger, of pain, of suffering, of triumph. Just, it's just this, this horrific shriek. But oddly, the people around you in the town don't seem to notice. Either they don't notice, or it's not, in, it's not in any way unusual to them. It was Cheryl the Shrieker again. <laughs> <laughs> um. Right. I think uh, uh, Harrison, with Damien and Cassie now coming up the hill, um, turns to his bulwark and Verthelia, and he's like, right, um, are you with me? Now you yeah. yeah. Let, let's go, kiddos. <laughs> right, Granny, I, you might... I'll tell you what, and I'm going to climb up on Granny. Like, Is this all right if I... Yes. If I just, okay. Onward. <laughs> <laughs> that's really cute. If any of you like doing fan art, that's a perfect fan art, guys. <laughs> just, just FYI, um, I can't do fan art. I, I'm the worst at art in general. You so barely um, draw a straight line, let alone granny. <laughs> yeah. I I once tried to draw um, an elephant um, for my daughter who was at the time eight, and um, and then she looked at me very disappointed, and she was like, well, "That's a dog." <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry. Maybe Damn. you should have chosen to be born to an artist. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, this this like, is your fault, no. kid. I didn't <laughs> this, this is your fault. No. It's okay. I wasn't actually mean to her, and she's actually a much better artist than me. Maybe she's. We can be mean to kids. Yes. We can be mean to kids. We got I, them. I have one. I'm mean to them. <laughs> but yeah. So, so, you're you're walking towards the tower. Um, and uh, Harrison is on on Granny's head, trunk, shoulders. Yeah, where would you have me, Granny? What, what's what's comfortable for you? Probably right on top of my head. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're wearing a Harrison hat. That's adorable. That's really cute. Um, and uh, and you're, I guess, walking probably quite quickly towards the tower. Um, it takes you about 25 minutes of brisk walking. As you go. There's two or three more. No, I, I should choose a specific number. There are three more bolts of lightning that uh, come down. Um, for the the last two, you can actually see them hit the tower. Um, the tower is seven stories tall. It's all white. It's made of stone that is like unnaturally white stone. Um, 
it's almost windowless. There's there are three windows, um, one next to like what is a, a large um, iron door, uh, one that is about midway through the tower, sort of a little bit off to the side from that one, um, and then one uh, directly sort of above the door, but at the very very top, um, and they are uh, they're barred with like uh, like uh, they've got iron bars on them, um, and the iron bars are, are dark or black. Um, there doesn't seem to be any light from inside the tower. Um, the tower has a, a large spire that seems to be made of that same white stone, but when the lightning hits it, it glows bright red as if it's an ember. And then it, you know, and then it fades. Um, and each time it hits, there's another shriek. But the shrieks are getting weaker. Not fainter, just weaker, as if something is losing strength. And then you get to the tower, and there is a very tall iron door, about eight feet tall, much taller than either of our six foot five humanoids. <laughs> um, and the door has a big lock on it. And there is the tower. It is it's it's at least sort of 50 feet from from anything else um it's it's sort of on on the not quite on the cliff's edge but it's on a little landing almost um on the path uh the path goes past it but looks to get much uh like like much thinner and and more overgrown soon after the tower so it seems to be like at the end of some kind of road um not not quite at the end but there's there's just a path not a road past it um, and, uh, and from, from your vantage point, it's a little higher than, um, than you were. Um, from your vantage point, you can see the beautiful ocean. You can see the, the, the town, the bustling town. And then there is the tower with a giant locked iron door. Wow, that's a big door, guys. As Castian and Eugene, or uh, Damien come up behind her, them. <laughs> and it is locked. I could... Very well, destroy the lock if we all agree that that's the best course of action. Okay. Or we could, or we could knock. I could just pick the lock. Damien has uh, thieves' tools in his <laughs> in his yes. pocket. I would tell you, normally I would agree with you, but if this is locked from the outside, that means that whatever's inside is locked in. person that lives it's true the person we have been sent to talk to we do not know if they live in the tower they could be trapped or a prisoner of the tower yes very well could be granny what do you think as i as i lean all the way over ears flopping in front of you to look at your face i think we should get in there let's do it kids let's yeah. break and enter Bulwark. Yeah. Oh, Bulwark is such a vibe. I love Bulwark. He's just happy to be here. Uh, as you're getting ready to... I'm going to give you a pat on the back and cast Guidance as you're getting ready to pick the lock. Alrighty. Guys, stand back. In case something comes out of here, I'm going to move to the left just a little bit as I open this door. Alright? So just prepare yourselves. And I'm going to use my Thieves tools on the door. What does Guidance do? Guidance gives you an extra D4 to add on your roll. Alright, that's a 12. But I'll, I'll give you the help <laughs> action. Ooh, which gives you advantage, do? so you can roll it again. Oh, nice. Uh, All right, well, and essentially what I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my, my mage hand to like yeah. help you like hold the lock steady, so you can use both your hands. Uh, Alright, thanks, that. buddy. Bunny? Buddy? I'm just kidding. Buddy, buddy? buddy? Bunny buddy. Ooh. Bunny buddy. All right. The second one was a 17. Okay. Oh. Yes. Damien's just playing with the lock. <laughs> come on, come yeah. on, come on. A 17 Remember will your open. Training. It. Remember your training. So, so you do manage to get this lock open. And the door is now unlocked. What would you like to do? All right, guys. The door's unlocked as he just drops the lock. You guys ready to go in? All right, well, as ready as ever. As I kind of clutch my 
my staff uh, in the event of a fight. I feel like my shield around in the sword. I feel like Berthelion and I should probably uh, lead the way into here. I don't know I get... what we're doing, and I'll charge in. And you're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You Damien's open the right door. next to Castian as well, kicking the door. Together. Okay. Are you going to kick in the door? Kicking in the door together. Okay. So, you open the door. You kick in the door. Break it. And in. Break it, break it. <laughs> <laughs> and inside, you find it doesn't look much like the interior of a tower. In fact, it's actually a plain. Like a grassy plain. Oh, fuck this, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to hear any more? You're just like, oh, oh grass, you can keep going. That. I just cast you as on a way back to fuck cast it. Where are you going, cast It's just a plain, Jesus. Don't it's be scared of grass. It's a plain inside of a tower. It's magic. All right, it's nothing crazy. Turn back around and look at it with us. With There's me. also no ocean in here. There is no ocean. He's winning me back over. I'm gonna go stand next to people. Where oh my God, the hawk! <laughs> <laughs> he is. He is. He is correct. There is no ocean visible on this plane. Um, it's like uh, like if you've seen a picture of the prairies um, in Canada or the U.S. It's it's just a, a, a wide grassy plain, and it's sunset. There's a band of of bright pinky red just at the horizon, but it's at every horizon. As if, like, like if any of you saw the eclipse, like literally yesterday, at totality, you have like that sort of glow at the horizon all around you, not necessarily just where the sun is. There's a sunset glow on every horizon, all around you on this plane. And there are some birds chirping, but otherwise there doesn't, there doesn't really seem to be a whole lot of activity on this plane at this time. There's a few clouds in the sky. It seems peaceful, almost too peaceful. You can feel the wind against your skin or fur or metal. Or does any of you have anything other than skin or fur or metal? No, I think you're all, I think that covers Hide, um, technically for granted. Hide, okay, tech, okay, hide. Um, against the, the exterior of your bodies or body approximations. Um, you can you can hear sort of the, just the, the faint chirping of birds. You can see the grass swaying gently. And that is what's inside this door. And then at the horizon, there is a strike of lightning and the door shuts behind you as a few stars begin to come out in the sky in unfamiliar constellations. And I think that's time for a five minute break. What do you think, guys? Maybe we'll, we'll give away one of these guys. Wow. All right, I'm gonna switch to our break scene. I should still have music going, so my Discord people, I will deafen over here so that you don't pick up. Um, this is the die that you could win to enter. All you have to do is put exclamation point raffle in the chat, and when we're back from the five minute break, <laughs> we will do Sorry. the giveaway. No, you're good. All right, we'll see you guys in a second. As I screw up everything over here. <laughs> Uh, my watch just told me like my heart rate's like 140 fucking beats per minute right now sitting down oh my doing gosh. nothing. Oh my god, are you okay? So... I'm sorry. I promise nothing bad will happen. Returned. The ducks have returned. <laughs> we are we are Jessless. It looks like she froze up there and then dropped. So we'll give everybody a couple minutes to enter the raffle. I believe we have everybody. Everybody that I've seen chatting. 
or that at least put exclamation point raffle. But if you want to enter into win, I, I know there's a little bit of a delay on stream, so it could be like 30 seconds or so, and then we'll close it and pick it. I wish I could remove raffle. my name. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Yeah, okay, yeah. Let's raffle too. <laughs> I feel like I was gonna say something and I completely forgot. Well, Jonathan, you're the DM now. Go. Yep, yep. you're in the DM window, so. Right. Um, this field is Jess's domain. Jess, take it away. <laughs> we've entered. We've entered a TARDIS. It's that was good inside. timing. Hooray! Um, yeah. Uh, so. Yeah, so this is a field. This is a field inside the tower. <laughs> it is much better. It is better. It's much bigger than it is. I guess it is some kind of Tardisy weird tower. Um, but the door is now shut. You can still can see we the pick door. The winner first. Yeah, let's we should do probably it. pick the winner. That's right. That's right. Maybe? Yes, maybe. Oh, we said, we said that we were gonna do two winners because we were gonna we were going to uh, as like an apology for me being 15 minutes late because my computer was being screwy. So we have our beautiful. All 20, D20. It's called the High Roller. And two of you are going to win them. And for those of you who won last week, if you're still here this week, yay, awesome. Um, I, I'm, I have a, a shipping run that I'm doing tomorrow. So you, I will be shipping yours, and I will be shipping today's winners as well. Do you have, by the way, our winner this time is Sweet Tune. Sweet Tune! Let's go. Sweet Tune! Yeah. yeah. You deserve this. Yeah. Fum, fum, fum. You deserve this. Um, well so, done. So, Jess, we, I, I mentioned this via DM, but um, what email do you want them to email to get in contact uh, with? Oh, you can just email me at jessica at stormcrow.com. There hold it on, is. Hold on, hold on. I can spell. Sweet tune if you can spell that better than me. Jessica at stormcrow.com bam sweet tune yeah. if you will email Jess she will get you all set up and then let's do our sure other will. winner which is by sweet tune does not appear to be in chat at the moment so oh, we may okay. have to catch up with sweet tune later yeah sweet tune will probably be watching the VOD so I will also make sure awesome. next time uh, let's go what a cool next. way to find out though you go back to watch a VOD and you're like oh yeah, wait I'd be what like, hey, I won <laughs> I won <laughs> love it our next winner by watch time is. Do we have Shane Oakley in the house? Hey! Shane Oakley. Woo! Shane, <laughs> Shane, Shane I, Oakley! I'm definitely not in chat, so I hope that Shane Oakley is with us. Bear in mind, there was a 30 second stream today. Yeah, there's a little bit of a one there. I'm not seeing mm -hmm. Shane in the active chat participants, so they're we either gone as well did. or. Did you abandon us, Shane? We'll give Shane and Sweet. This is a little longer, but Shane, if you are here, message us or post in chat, and we will get you it. Otherwise, at the end, we will re-raffle the loyalty one off. Alrighty, so back to this field. Congrats, winners! By the way. Yay! Congrats, winners! Woo! Congrats. Woo. Y'all are gonna make me go into chat to like see if all y'all are actually in here. We got some congrats going on. I think people just go. It's also oh, yeah. three hours stream, so. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, people go in and out. No, I totally got it. Do we have 345 people watching right now? Are there 345 of you? 47. 347, actually. I just what? love 346. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> you guys! <laughs> that is so many people! You guys, thank you for watching. That makes me really happy. I hope that you all enjoy this weird field. This weird field that we're all in. Oh, I um, was like, what? Yeah. The teacher <laughs> just makes it in that weird. I was like, oh, no, no, not the teacher. Oh. Field. No, not, not, not us, the, the field. field. As in, right. Not the field of players. Like, the field of dreams? dreams. Nobody oh. will understand. I, oh, you guys do understand that because that's an old movie. And I'm old, so. Favorite movie that. of all time, um, What Dreams May Come with Robin Williams. <gasps> oh, so, oh, that's a good you know. one. Such a good movie. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So. Yeah, this field is not not really very much like that movie, unfortunately. I'm sorry. It's not like so beautiful and pastel and lovely and it's it's uh it's a big grassy plain. Um 
and it feels a little ominous, as you might expect. And the door has just slammed shut behind you. You can still see the door. It's not one of these things where the door disappears. Um, the door is still there, uh, but uh, but it's shut. And uh, and there is this big field of grass, as far as the eye can see, except for where there was a big lightning bolt that just came down. Uh, if I at, at if horizon. I turn if I turn behind to look at the door, is there a wall to either side of the door? Is it just a door frame with in the middle of an open field with field all around us? Yes, okay. that is exactly. Yeah, there's no wall. There's no. That. All it is is the door. Yeah, it's just the door. It's just this okay. iron door. I'm glad you asked that. I had that exact question. Yeah, it, it's yeah. a reasonable question. Same way. Yeah. Well, um. I guess there's no way to go but forward, everybody, but... Why'd you guys shut the door? I didn't shut the door. I thought you shut the door. You were the first ones through. I'm, why would I shut the door in your face as I'm coming in? Cassie and I are in the front. I don't think I shut the door, but I'll take the blame on this one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you, Bulwark. Taking one for the team, Bulwark. I love that. That's a whole mom and dad stop fighting. That's a man who shuts <laughs> doors. So Harrison, um, you... <laughs> well, no, you just, as you're the star guy, yeah. you notice that, that the, the stars are just starting to come out. Um, okay. As the, as the, you know, whatever sun is on all the horizons sinks below all the horizons slowly. Um, or maybe it doesn't sink in. Maybe it's. I was gonna say that was, that is that was my follow up question was like, is the horizon actually getting lower as as you know the the sun pseudo sun multiple suns, or are they static and it's just constantly just sundown? But it sounds like they are setting slowly. Well, you you haven't actually been here for more, longer than like approximately thirty seconds. So <laughs> that's also true. Um, <laughs> but. But you do you do start to notice that there are stars um, that that are in the sky, um, and they they seem to be getting um, they seem to be getting brighter. But you know what? I'm going to ask you to roll Arcana actually because um, because you don't know whether it's because you've just been in a bright you know like outside where it's bright. It's no. like you know 10 a.m. Um, and here now you are in a in a strange twilight zone, literally. And that's only an eight. Uh, well, you've only been here 30 seconds. You, you can't specifically see yeah. the, the, any sun or anything well, going bad. down. Um, but you can see the stars. And yep. and they are mostly unfamiliar. Except for one part of the sky that has the same familiar constellations as you saw on... Uh, on uh, and you know his name is Orion. Right. On Orion's body. All right, everybody. Um, the stars don't make sense here, except that place. But that's only because I recognize it from our fiery friend in the in in the astrology tower. Um, but perhaps we need to go help whoever is being struck by lightning, casting lightning. I don't know. The stars seem to have a message of peril and urgency. So. All right. Well, point the way, Harrison, and we'll fo we'll we'll go that way. The only place being struck by lightning is <laughs> I point my stuff okay. forward. <laughs> All right. Point a metal rod. Yeah. Don't go to <laughs> <laughs> well done, CPK. Harrison. Oh no. Um. Yeah, okay, so you're, you're walking towards the place that's been struck by lightning. Um, you walk for about 10, 15 minutes. Everything is calm. Everything is quiet. Everything is calm. Everything is don't calm. do that. Don't, don't <laughs> roll a thing and then look <laughs> up like that. Um, I, I, I might have done that. I might not have. I don't know. Harrison um, will cast dancing lights around us if it okay. starts getting dimmer, just so we have some source of, source of light as we walk. Okay. In fact, it, it doesn't seem to be getting any dimmer. It seems to be okay. staying 
I mean, you can still cast Dancing Lights because it's not very still gonna, bright. It's it, still and it's a cantrip anyway, so I'll, I'll still cast it. Okay. Um, so the four lights around all of you. Yes. Okay. Thanks for the extra light, buddy. All right, of course. Well, last thing you want to do is accidentally get your foot stuck in a rabbit hole and then your ankle breaks and then we'd have to put you down, so. I don't think that's how that works for humans, but it's uh, mm, pretty that sure that's gruesome. Death. I don't think that's how that works for rabbits either. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Is that that what your people ass. do when you break your fucking leg? No, no, no. We, no, no. Right. You're misunderstanding. But, we are fine. Uh, but if somebody else breaks the legs, we usually, I mean, what are we going to do? Help a giant? I mean, we just have to put him down. What? Are you a murderer? No, no. I'm talking about like deer and elk. <laughs> And there's and the horses. <laughs> and the occasional the lost child. <laughs> the question Are you a murderer? Seems to echo strangely. Even though there's no there there's no surfaces like anywhere close to you that you can perceive immediately without rolling perception, etc. Um it's it's almost as though Something else has like picked up the the questions. Are you a murderer? Are you a murderer? Are you a murderer? Are you a murderer? Oh. And then it fades. It's haunting. Did you <laughs> did you do that, Damien? No, but that was really cool. Actually, I wish. Are you a murderer? And he says it again, just to see if it does it again. And it does. Are you a murderer? Are you a murderer? Are you a murderer? And, um. And then there are a few more lights that that seem to blink into existence above you about 20, 30 feet in the air that look exactly like the dancing lights that you have around you. Right, well, that's not me. Um, spooky. It is spooky. Um, oh, I have an idea. <clears throat> What's a virgin? <laughs> and the question echoes what's a verge what's a verge what's a verge kind of pat it kind of kicks his little rabbit feet onto your head a little bit he's like oh that's exciting and with that a figure seems to appear almost materialized from the darkness right in front of you it is a figure that's cloaked in a in a in a cloak that looks like the sky. Not the sky that you see right now, like the, the daytime sky with with uh, with clouds and and in blue um, and little birds. It's not the, the sky isn't moving, but it looks almost like photorealistic. It looks it looks very much like the sky. And it's a figure about uh, about the height of Rithelion, about six foot five, much broader. Um, you can't see a face because it's because the hood is down. And there's a voice that sounds like it comes from the sort of person who would be cloaked in the sky. <laughs> and it says, Sir. I believe someone once said that a virgin is someone who doesn't own a boat. That's not true. Right. <laughs> the figure goes to you, Damien, and says, do you own a boat? Yes. Yes, I do. Thank you very much. And I am not a virgin. I don't believe I asked you the second question. I'm just prepping, just in case you do <laughs> hooded figure in front of me. What is your name, by the way? I'm no one. Hi, no one. I'm Castian. Hi, Castian. Not for long. <laughs> Hi. But it was a good guess. <laughs> Wait, do you wear many faces as well? And the figure holds back its uh, its hood, and there's nothing underneath. And it says, "I might. Do you?" Damien steps back. No. Guys, what is this Perhaps thing? Perhaps you should. I'm not a thing. 
I'm a person. Are you the master of this tower? He looks around with... You can tell he's looking around because the, the cloak is shifting, but there's <laughs> nothing in, uh, nothing underneath. He says, What tower? Ah. Mm-hmm. Can I cast... Um, Cause I, because I have detect magic at will, can I just like blink and my eyes kind of flash purple just to cast detect magic to see kind of what I'm getting off of this person? Yeah, absolutely. Um, there, there is the entire area. Everything is magical here. This is absolutely all magic, um, and it is mostly illusion. Oh, mostly a little. Illusory. A little bit of evocation. A little tinge of necromancy. But mostly illusion. All right. And and he, again, his, his shoulders sort of shift towards you, Granny. Um, and he says, are you looking at me? Oh, yes, dearie. I'm just curious what's going on in this place. Is all. <laughs> you of all people. <laughs> people. You of all... Consciousnesses. You of all... <laughs> <laughs> oh, honey, you'll have your turn. Not quite yet. But you, Atropos. <laughs> Don't you worry. You'll find what you see. But not here. But how do you know my name? Well, that is a <laughs> that is a very long story. It's a story perhaps we should tell each other at an inn sometime but it's not a story for today I don't think you would be able to remember it even if I told you and you my friend and this and the figure's shoulders shift towards Harrison you did very well you have a lot of stars to learn you you have a gift were I you I would be careful who you share it with the stars will always talk to you but they won't always tell the truth as you may notice if you look up and Harrison as you look up at the stars, they shift. They shift into the constellations that you're familiar with. And a few stars begin to fade. Not wink out, but they begin to fade. And this figure says, there's a lot of their language you still have to learn. And then the figure turns to Vrithelion and says, I am so sorry for your loss. <laughs> I, I was not responsible for it, just to be clear. But you'll find who was, and you'll right that wrong. Now, my next lesson for you is that you should not always trust what people tell you. And the figure snaps its fingers and immediately becomes a beautiful young woman whose dress is green and is sodden with water. Her hair is sopping wet. 
It's long and it's black and her eyes are dark and her skin is pale and she looks like she's just been dragged out of a lake. And she smiles at all of you and blinks. And she says, Oh, hello. I, 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 I'm, do you know where we are? And one by one, small figures start to emerge from the grass. Each one <laughs> with a little dancing light above its head. Each one wet as if it's been dragged out of a lake. Until there are 12 of them. <laughs> you wave at them. They wave back. Most of them. <laughs> The young, woman, the young woman looks at you and says, Oh, you're friends. Friends, friends. I like friends. We have friends here. These are our friends. Are you our friends too? And the young woman just smiles at you and says, I, I know. So are you. Right now. You're also no one. You don't have any memory. Your, your mind is like a Swiss cheese. Your, your mind. <laughs> your mind, your mind is a no one. My mind is a no one. We can be no ones together. And she grabs your hands, Castian, and starts like dancing around with you. And no ones, no ones, no ones, no ones. Be a no one with us. Stay with us. We're all no ones here. It's so much fun. We get to fight the ocean. I realized I was probably muted for most of that. This is my dog's having a bit. <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. I was just yelling about no ones. Great, but I have higher aspirations than be no one. And you did call my brain Swiss cheese a minute ago. And while that's correct and technically true, still a little bit rude for you to do, especially if we're supposed to be friends. I don't call your brain Swiss cheese. Miss didn't have a face for a second and now has a face for a second. See, we all have weaknesses, but I don't point out yours except for just now. So it takes this, it takes this young woman a, a little bit of time to process all of this. <laughs> like it, it takes, and everybody else is just sort of staring, because they, they're, they're, they don't really seem to to really get it. They they don't really seem to to have much going on. And she takes literally about ninety seconds to process what you've just said, like, and and she's like, I'm sorry for calling your brain Swiss cheese. You know. Maybe a better analogy is, you know those rocks with holes in them? Where there's like a hole and there's a rock and there's a hole in the rock. That's, the rock is the brain and the hole is the hole. Where there's no mind, there's nothing. There's, there's just, it's, it's got eaten. I think you got eaten and I think, I think you can grow it back, but I don't know. I want to inside check. Okay. Actually, legit. That says 15. Okay. It thinks it's legit. It is not what it seems, but it thinks it is. Mm. Anybody else want to make friends with the weird Swiss cheese rock fish people? I was just told not to trust anything. <laughs> and, and I am going to follow that advice. You know, there's a door. There's a door in in the land, and did you see the door? Did you see the door? Because if you if you didn't see the door, you should see the door. It's really pretty. I don't know how to open it. 
Are you talking you about the door try behind the do us? The door behind you? Well, I don't know. There's only one door. I, I We looked. Mm. There's no more doors. There's only the one. Maybe there's another one. Do you know of another one? There, maybe there's a door on the floor or a door in the ceiling. Like, the ceiling being the, 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 the sky. Is there a, There's no door in the sky, I don't think. But I could be wrong. But there's definitely a door. And it's big. And it's a black door. And I don't know how to open it. Is no one still here? Uh, no one... The, 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 the sky-robed figure yeah. is not. The okay. sky-robed figure has turned into this young girl. Okay. Or young woman, rather. I, I wasn't sure if it, if, it, if they reappeared or if, if they turned into the young girl and, and more implicitly them. Okay. Yeah, they seem to phase Ugh. into this, 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 uh, this young woman. Okay. Who looks to be about 20. Hmm. And as you're all silent... The, the others are kind of sort of wandering off they as their 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 little dancing lights that they and and they're it, you and you hear them whispering really like like two of them whispering really really softly are you a murderer are you a murderer are you a virgin are you a murderer you hey a i don't think you're supposed to say that uh last one there uh you, <laughs> please the okay insecure about his boat don't. ownership don't well, repeat the words that you're hearing, but you don't know what, do you know what they mean? Well, they all have so many questions. We always have so many questions. Very, don't, nobody comes in here. Nobody comes into the tower. Right. Um, what are you? I'm no one. Now that's who you are. Mm. What are you is different. Are you an apparition? Are you a star? Uh, I don't know what an apparition is. And the nice. stars, I think, are up there. Um, I think those are stars. They might just be candles that somebody accidentally dropped and then they dropped the wrong way and they went up there. But, um, I don't, I don't think I'm a star. Am I, am I, am I might, am I maybe, a, am I maybe a star? Could you tell me if I'm a star? Am I a star? Am I, am I a murderer? Am I a virgin? Oh. Um. Wow, that's. I ask myself one of those quite often. I'm going to start climbing down. Can you ask if you're a star? Uh, no, the other one. Not not the murderer. murderer. Um, Are you a murderer? I'm. I'm not. Um. He is. I'm going <laughs> to. I'm going to start climbing down Granny Addy. But on the mm -hmm. way down, I'm going to whisper in her ear. Right. I don't believe that we should let these things out. That's not. Yeah, that doesn't seem like a good idea. And I'm also going to cast Mage Armor on myself. Okay. Because <laughs> your boy's no fool. Mm-hmm. Here. I would probably gonna, do the same. I want to try to do the, the, the little moats or the little weird creatures that are running off. I'm going to try to use my dancing lights to do the same thing I did with Castian and uh, Damien and try to lure them back away from the door to kind of keep them in this general area. Okay, how are you going to do that? Um, I'm going to try to use just the four orbs by themselves. Okay. Uh, and if that doesn't work, I'll make them come together to make the little constellation me and kind of dance around with them and try to, like, <laughs> panpiper them back. Okay. Um, so the dancing lights themselves, um, it, you know, they, they, the, the creatures look kind of fascinated, but they, but they're not, they, they, you know, they kind of stop in their tracks, but they don't come back. But if you do put the together, the four lights together to make a constellation U, that gets their attention because, because it looks like the stars up above. And they start chattering amongst themselves, some of them in a language that you don't understand. Um, some of them in a language that you do understand in common, um, just sort of like chattering saying, are this, is, is is it a star? Is he a star? Are they stars? Is is he a star? Is she a star? Are they stars? Is he a murderer? Is he murdering the stars? Is he a star? Like just kind of these, these is he virgin like the stars? <laughs> <laughs> Probably one of them says that in language you don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> is he a star virgin? Is he a virgin murderer? Um but this is I mean you can you can notice like anytime somebody asks a question yeah. They repeat the question. They're they're fascinated by the idea of gaining information. Of like mm -hmm. this idea of like being able to question something. And so they 
so if if your if your you know constellation Harrison is coming back towards you, then they are following that thing. Okay. Yeah, I kind of just wanted to like nice. circle around us within like a 15, 20 foot radius. Just keep them in this little vicinity here for for our close up fighters. But uh, I'm gonna get down from Granny Annie and be like, right, um, Sir Vithelian, um, are these of the, you know, nature? You know the nature the nature of the uh are they um are you okay are you, are you, trying, <laughs> are you asking if they are undead yes yeah, I, I don't want them to hear that because then oh am i an undead and they're gonna do the weird thing with the chattering <laughs> i will do this though yeah i will do divine sense to detect mm -hmm. good and evil mm -hmm. you don't detect either mm -hmm. They're yeah. neither good nor evil. They're just they're they're things, but they they aren't they aren't evil and and they aren't particularly good. They're just kind of there. I look they to exist. Harrison. They 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 are neither good nor evil. Mm. Um, <gasps> perhaps they may be fae. I do not know. Right, but why was there a lock on the outside? That's what I can't get past. So one of them is close enough to you, to, to you, Harrison, to hear you. And this one, this one is, um, looks like about 25 years old, um, indeterminate gender, um, a sort of bright red hair and bright blue eyes. Um, and, and, and this person, they look human. They, they sort of, they, they, they turn their head to look at you. And they kind of amble over to you. They seem to have a little bit more going on in, in, in their head than, than most of the others. And, and they look at you and, and they, to Harrison, and they, they say to you, I, I, is there a lock? There's a lock on the door. How do you get through the door? I want to go out the door. I've been in here. I've been in here. I've just been, I've been in here and I want to go home. How how long have you been here? Are you How long? How long? And and for 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 several moments the the light seems to go go out in in this person's eyes and as they just say how long? How long? Long. 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 We need to get this person out long. of here. I long. think so. Okay, Ooh, wait so. a minute. Why is this person here in the first place? Right. How did you get here? I don't know. But there was a place that didn't have stars in the daytime. And it had one big fiery ball in the daytime. And... There were others there, and they didn't just ask questions, they had answers. And I want to go home to answers, okay. and I All miss right. my mother. All right, you have a mum. Tell you what, let's make a game of this, right? A I game. will, yes, a game. You want answers, right? Answers, answers? Yes, answers, right. please. Then we will do... An answer for an answer. You ask a question, you get an answer. I ask a question, we get an answer. Hmm? I... But what if I don't have enough answers? I don't know if there are any answers here. Any answer is a good answer. Okay. Right? Okay. Okay. So, um, let's... Let's... You start. You can ask me. Will you take me home? Right, starting with the hard ones. <laughs> right. I promise you... Oh, go ahead. I say, Borg's gonna walk up and give them a hug. Oh, Borg, so sweet! We're gonna so, get you out of here. I'm gonna get you out of here. Why are we getting her out of here? She had no face a minute ago. Have we all forgotten about the no face bit? Cause I don't have a face. About the no uh, face right. I don't have a face, and I flip up my mask, and there's just a hole. Ah! Yeah, but oh, you weren't being creepy forgot. a moment ago. I look as creepy, if not more so than this person. I have. Damien, I was going to say, between looking creepy and being creepy. 
I second that. We have to learn who these people are first before we just let them run free. Good I still don't or know why evil. We're here. I for, for what it's worth, this is not the this is not the young the young woman who was like sopping wet like who who uh, yeah, no, this no is one, one of the little into. creatures. This is around. like one oh, of the okay. one of the others. Yeah, yeah. this is not. Yeah, the still the the, out uh, of here. the 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 young woman is is still like obsessed with you, Cassian, and like peppering <laughs> you with like questions, being like, so 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 what about what about your brain? What what's your brain? Does your brain <laughs> does your brain have holes? Does it maybe have have like does it. Does it have more brain than no brain? Does it have more no brain than brain? Um, why? Why does brain? Why are your brain? Why is your brain like that? I my brain is like that because I don't remember. Do you remember? I don't know if you can remember. Anyway, so this is what this is. So, Casting this person, this this young woman, is is a match for you in terms of say, talking. You've met your Cass, match. Is that your <laughs> sister? We've not met your family yet. Is she related to you? You guys seem really similar. Don't like you. Me? I uh, why? But but we have the same brain and uh, no brain. We have the same no brain. But I don't but, like you because I don't like me. So why would I like you? That's but so introspective. <laughs> why don't you like you? I like you. I think you're wonderful. You talk like me and your brain like my brain, and I think you're great. Why don't you think you're great? You should See, think you're great. See, that's how I know you're suspicious. Nobody in my 104 years has thought Castian's great. And now I wander through a random hole in the tower that I did not want to go through. And I've lost my shoe. And now someone thinks I'm great. You take that back right now. I think maybe you're just in the wrong place. You were just in the wrong place. Maybe you need to be with somebody who thinks you're great. Maybe you should stay with the people who think you're great instead of the people who think you're not great. I like being with people who think I'm great and who don't have brain like me. I like people with whole brains. Or half brains. Holes in brains. Brains that don't have all of the brain. And sometimes that's better than being in a place where people don't appreciate you because I appreciate you because you are wearing the short shorts and I want some. Can I have some? You have to talk to the mad... The, she's mean and she's mad now, but the girl <laughs> at the bar. Why is everybody mean to you? I like you. You're great. Will you stay here? No. No? No? I think you're lying to me. She lies down on the ground. And she says, well, now I'm lying. <laughs> oh. Fair point. Ka are you sure you're not related to her, Cassian? Because I'm seeing a lot of resemblance right now. I, I don't mean, know what you're talking about. I, you should talk to your twin over there a little bit more, I think. Maybe you guys can figure it out. Maybe you both can take Wait the second. brain holes that you have missing and, and piece them together with each Dang other, you know? shut up! Wait a second! Swiss cheese lady. Yes? Does he own a boat? And I point to Damien. And there's a moment where you can almost feel like the gears grinding in her head. <laughs> How many contracts to go through? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, like literally, she's so many legal terms. Yeah. Oh. Yes, checking the like, notary like, documents and stuff. <laughs> yeah, just like 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 a mentat, just like. <laughs> and in fact, this is such a difficult question for her that she that she disintegrates <laughs> and reappears as the figure in the cloak of sky. Ooh and says, good question. Thanks. He is, he's lucky because he does not own it. Why should he not own the boat? Does this have to do with Big Hawk? <laughs> Big Hawk. I've oh. said too much. <laughs> oh. You've seen our friend Windward. Windward. 
Wind. Everybody's walking in. Like, Before, yeah, yeah, he's yeah, like yeah, writing yeah, it down. Yeah, windward. Damien windward. gets out a notebook and he's like, "Dude, windward." <laughs> windward. Before this creature, this person, this uh, one of no one of many faces does anything else. Damien wants to uh, cast detect thoughts on this uh, creature mm. uh, for the duration. You can read the thoughts of certain creatures when you cast a spell. Uh, it's a concentration up to one minute. Wisdom save of thirteen. All right. Solid. Tell you what happens if uh, you save or don't save. Well, I did. Uh, well, uh, this creature did not save. Oh, perfect. All right. Uh, you initially learn the surface thoughts of the creature, what's most on its mind in that moment. As an action, you can either shift your attention um, or probe into the uh, creature's mind. If it fails, you gain the insight into the reasoning, if any emotional state uh, what will learn, like looms in its mind basically so I'm basically just starting to read its mind a bit more okay so it is actually terrified of that boat oh. it is terrified of that boat because that boat you, you can't it, it doesn't necessarily even know exactly why it's terrified of that boat, or maybe it does know and it's sort of keeping it from itself. This, this thing's mind is, it's a little odd. It doesn't really function in the same way as, as your mind might. It's, it's got, like, think, if you think of a mind as like, like, a, like a, you know, like a room, like a filing room or like a server like cheese. room. Cheese. <laughs> cheese, also maybe, also maybe cheese. Um, it, it, this this creature's mind has a whole lot more secret rooms. Like it, it's its mind is is more divided. Instead of being like an open plan house slash mind, it's like a like a warren of 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 different rooms and secret little cabinets and and places where things are stored. Um, it it seems to have been made that way. The, its mind seems to be partially constructed and partially, partially like, um, like like partially organic, as if there was a like, like a like a, a human or a humanoid mind that was kind of not flattened but 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 sort of scooped out, and another uh, structure or 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 cognitive thing. <laughs> like like cognitive structure or cognitive machinery built on top of it um, by something or someone else. And so it is terrified of that boat and it is terrified of whoever owns that boat and wants very much to eliminate whoever owns that boat because whoever owns that boat, it sees as an enormous threat, not just to itself, but to the world it has built for itself inside where it is, which is inside the tower, but also not inside the tower. It is this kind of liminal, um, like extra planar space. Okay. And these are hmm. things that are that it is thinking. Okay. It is terrified of that boat and the implications because it believes that the, 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 the person or, or thing that owns that boat is a huge danger. And the reason why it's created this space it believes that it has created this space to protect itself and to protect those who come through the door. And that's why it wants to keep things, keep these things and, and people and you know anybody who comes through the door. It believes that this tower is a safe place for it. And it wants to eliminate anything that threatens that because it also believes that it, that if it controls this, the version of the stars that it can see, then it will be safe from the implications of what happens to the stars outside. And it believes that there will be something going very wrong with the stars outside very soon. So inside here, it has built itself a fortress of a sort. Hmm. Okay, so and so it hopes it you it it, it actually kind of likes you and hopes you don't own the boat. <laughs> nice. Okay, so as this spell goes into effect, I can choose to probe deeper 
as mm-hmm. I probe deeper, uh, the creature does know that I am probing its mind. Mm-hmm. Um, and <clears throat> as I use an action, it can make an intelligence check to contest my uh, the wisdom save again. But as I ask questions uh, directed at the creature, it does start to shape its mind a little bit more to focus on those questions. So as I learn more about the boat, I'm going to ask it, uh, why are you so terrified that I I own that boat? You think I don't, but I do own that boat. You can so make it, some save again if, uh, if you do uh, succeed, uh, the spell ends. But if you fail, then I get to learn more. So, all right, I'll make, I'll make the save. Okay. Uh, that was a one, so it definitely, oh, nice. it definitely does not, <laughs> it does not yeah. make the save. Um, okay. But oddly enough, it doesn't actually seem to mind you, you delving into its thoughts because. Oh. Okay. Well, in part because because it knows that it's got its secrets and it knows that there are places you can't get to. Hmm. Or at least it pe- it believes that it does. Okay. <laughs> um. I hope you don't own the boat because, frankly, I quite like you. And, frankly, I don't want to have to kill you. I don't like violence in here. It's not a nice feeling. It's just not a nice feeling. Then, then I, then I have to kill somebody. And, 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 and it just, it just doesn't feel good to me. And then what do I do with the body? I have to bury the body, and that takes a lot of work. And then there's a, and, and then, then the, the, the sometimes the, the lightning takes that person, and then they scream even after they're dead, and, and it just makes me feel guilty. I don't we, like feeling guilty. We heard a scream on the way here. Did mm. you kill someone recently? I did, I had to. Why? Gaming, gaming insights in on this uh, on more as these questions <laughs> fucking fuck with its brain to where Damien's seeing this shit even more or learning more. Um, yeah, it. Uh, you can tell it. It. You can see in its thoughts. It. It. Uh, it. It quite recently killed uh, one of these. Uh, one of these, uh, like humanoid type things with with the little dancing lights. Um, and it says, "I didn't want to. It just." It was trying to get my name. It was, it just wouldn't stop. And as you know, I'm no one. And I, my, my name is, it's, 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 it's just not up for grabs. And I don't like having to kill anyone. What is your name, by the way? Did you not just hear what she said about murdering somebody who asked that question? I mm. want to know more information because we're going to fucking... Tr- Honestly, probably they're going to try to hurt us anyway, so we might as well gather as much information if and you stop asking fucking the question fight she them. Said not to ask and maybe stop saying you own the boat, which she does not own that boat, by the way. Then maybe nobody has to get murdered. Did you think about that, Damien? Well, people have already been murdered, as you can see from the people walking around. That doesn't they mean we keep are going all with dead. The None of them are oh. us so far. Let's keep that track record. I Almost think twenty-four you... hours of friends so far. Don't want to lose it. Remember that none of them are dead yet. Part. I know. I know eleven people now. See? You take this <laughs> <a> forward <laughs> from me. We can. We cannot let this entity leave. Correct. So the, um, the, uh, the, the, the the red-haired, blue-eyed one, it has overheard all of this and comes bounding over to, uh, to no one. And, and pulls on no one's sky sleeve and says, I promise I'll stay. I promise I'll stay. I promise I'll stay. Just, can they leave? They haven't been here very long. They haven't been here very long. I won't go. You can, I, I promise not to cry anymore. No one. 
I promise. Can you just please, please just, just let them go, please? And, and no one sort of has, has heard this exchange between Damien and Castian and, and, and just sort of chuckles and says, I don't, I don't know why you think that I would, would, I would kill you. I certainly wouldn't. The one who died wished to die. That's why they asked my name. They wished to die. That's what they wanted. That's what they wanted. And you, my <gasps> boat not owning friend. Rude. <laughs> well, yes, this is my domain. I have a right. My not boat owning friend. I should, I should strike you down. I should. It is only because I like you that I don't. And Damien, because I rolled a one. <laughs> you can tell that it is not telling the truth right now. Oh. You can tell that it is actually terrified to try to kill you because it thinks you own the boat. And it thinks you are a huge danger to it, and it wants you to leave. Mm. It just it it's it 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 doesn't want to give you its name, and in fact, you get the sense maybe it can't give you its name. Oh, you don't know why, mm. but you get the sense there's like a barrier there. But it doesn't want to kill you because it doesn't want to die, and it doesn't want all of these people to die. It actually thinks you're kind of cute. Oh. Mm. Damien's Same. going through so many emotions right now. He's, <laughs> he's just in his own like if somebody detected thoughts, it, oh, 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 oh. It's just like a bunch of O's in there constantly. Like Different. he's in a battle with himself right now, figuring this. Different inflections of O. No one here is just driving him crazy. And, and as this exchange is happening, the... Um, the young person, the the, the blue-eyed, red-haired one, um, goes back to Bulwark, and sort of Bulwark, um, they en almost enfold themselves in your arms, and and they say, "Will you open your?" And then just sort of makes the motion for for your face. But it was so warm; it reminded me of home. Yeah, of course. And I'm gonna kneel down and open up my face. So they can. I don't. I'm not going to say the rest of that sentence. So they can see inside. Okay. So they so they curious. they look. No, they 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 look inside and 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 like I guess it's it's still a wood fire a bit because you had so much pine last night to drink, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. eat, consume of some sort. Um, <laughs> and and it it kind of just puts its face against the glow at the front of your head. And, and closes their eyes, or they close their eyes, and they just, like, bask in this light and this warmth that that feels like home to them. Meanwhile, Damien is going through a lot of emotions. <laughs> You'd like to, like, gesture, because I assume we're kind of all, like, kind of close together, but, like, yeah. a little mm -hmm. bit far away yeah. from each other. Yeah, guys, 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 come here, please. There's a lot that I needed to let you know. No one, if you were, I feel you've respected me a lot and my friends here. Can you give us a moment to just talk amongst ourselves for a second, please? It would be my pleasure. And he sort of backs up quickly <laughs> away from you. <laughs> um, and uh, and gives, you, gives you the room. Damien just gives a little the wave thumbs up thing. He's just so confused <laughs> right now. He doesn't. Guys, guys, guys. Caspian, Harrison, Granny, Bulwark, Bethelian, Fethelian, I'm sorry. I fucked up your name again. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> this is crazy. Um, I just learned a fuck ton of information about this. Uh, no one. Uh, they are terrified of me, first and foremost. Uh, they also think I'm a little cute. Uh, which is kind of weird at the same time. I'm not nice. understanding. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so that makes they... you a virgin. Still no. trying to 
don't know what that means. I'm trying it out. Don't use it in a sentence in front of me, please. Not like that. I, I don't like it. Listen, that it knows that I own that boat. Okay, okay, Castian, don't please just don't say it. Okay. We are very safe as long as it knows that I own that boat. Wow. Okay, can we all agree on that, please? Right, so you don't actually. Right. Oh, I. I Why do. you're trying you to convince just... us that you well, then you act as if that is a lie and that we are telling the truth the other way. This doesn't make any sense. Right, have you been brainwashed by no one? No, actually, I've been doing the, the the washing, if you will. That brain is pretty washed. I know a lot about that. Uh, no one. This, we've all been friends for 24 hours. Okay, if you can just <laughs> trust me, please, I will fill you in on more than just the boat. Okay? What? All right. Damien, I trust you. Thank you. Um, Everybody? I just... So are we letting them out or not then i don't think we should what i think another question we have to ask is why were we sent here what Whoa. we were sent here for a reason and yet is this it can i look up to the stars really quickly and see if i see the same face that i saw yes should i roll perception uh please or insight whichever you prefer Oh, <laughs> that's good. That's a 19. You do. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you sure do. Okay. Listen, this creature, no one, has built this space to protect itself and... It has a version of its own stars in here that it controls, okay? Yeah. And it is Wonder. very terrified to for us letting out its creatures here. Um, it, Do you think that it's linked to the astrologer somehow? I mean, I can ask that question if we want uh, answers. I mean, yeah, I think we need more answers. Because if we leave, as, if we just leave this way, we've got more questions than answers, and that just doesn't seem like the way to leave. Yeah, yeah. no, one hundred percent. You've been very quiet, by the way, Casting. You're just thinking over there. Do you? Are you cool with everything here? I just want to make sure you're on board. Oh no, and not at all. What are we we're doing? Good? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the question. I don't think we know. Right? What yeah, plan it's like are staring we into a mirror. Because I would like so, to not be planning that plan. So, Damien, by this time, it has been at least a minute, so yeah. your detect thoughts will have, you, unless you want to try to cast it again, I might. Um, it will have uh, expired. Okay, that's fair. Mm. So, casting, just to catch you up real quick, while you were talking to your sister, uh, basically, is what I'm, I'm gathering. That may be a question I ask it, honestly. Um I used a spell that I can read its mind and, and find out more. Basically, long story short, as you were listening-ish, it controls this domain. It is scared of me. It knows slash thinks that I own that boat, which, if it asks you, I do own that I, boat. That was a weird time to pause there. I don't know why you did that. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure that you were going to like if I, you know, finish each other's sentences, if you will, you know, a little fun pal best friend thing, you know, 24 hours, don't forget. Um, so we can ask it a few more questions uh, or we or, can try to find that other door that it's talking about too and get the fuck out of here. Yeah, we just leave. Not our monkey, not our circus. We don't have to deal with this. But I think we were called here, Castian. I was called to the boat with my arch nemesis, Big Hawk. I wasn't called shit. Well, I was called that. But I wasn't called here. And then we got... This, this just reeks of no. It just reeks of no. I'm not falling into creepy things traps why is it afraid of the boat what's wrong with the boat did we ask anything about the boat yeah thinks i'm gonna hurt it 
All right, so the owner of the boat is a great danger to it, right? Yes. But why? I am. Because the stars told it, and it's afraid of the stars. So is it afraid of the stars or the boat? Because this is becoming like a totem pole no, situation. It's, it's afraid of the stars, it sounds like, because the stars have told it that somebody on the boat would be a problem, I'm guessing, I think. Correct. As, you got it. Or the owner you, of the boat who doesn't necessarily have to be on the boat. As yeah. you talk to each other, you notice that... Unlike the sort of static, uh, like, like the sort of static uh, constant sunset around the side that, that has been in place since you came into this tower plane, suddenly the sunset does start to fade into night. And you hear a shriek from no one who's standing about 30 feet away. And he says, what have you done? I told you we should have left. <laughs> what have you done? It is never night. It can never be night in here. What? Who? Who are you? Cast you. Work. <laughs> We're up here. <laughs> <laughs> who are you? Why Cassian! have you come here? I guess it can't hear very well. We were called here by the stars. The stars outside? No. Stars that weren't outside. And it, it, it gasps. And it says, It's you. Oh, that's never good. And he sort of he points with his with his uh, empty s- sky sleeve at um, at Harrison, and then at Granny, and then at Bulwark, and then and then it, in turn each of you. <laughs> and he says, "I am so glad that you're here. This needed." Here's what happens next. And he takes his hands and he puts them like this and there's a glow between them. And the glow grows and then it leaves his hands and it sort of floats above him. Sorry, is homie spirit bombing us? <laughs> mm, no. I mean, it sort of looks like he is. If, <laughs> I mean, you could try to attack him, but like, but he's he's not currently attacking you. I'm going to let it ride he's, out. <laughs> <laughs> he, kind of, he, he kind of does this, and the glow turns into a large like almost crystal ball kind of looking thing. Mm -hmm. And the crystal ball shows the world outside. And he says, this is your home, yes? This is where you're from. That's right. Yes. Why are you asking that? My lawyer will answer all my questions. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> I'll answer all our questions <laughs> he says it is as I foretold I will allow you to leave would you leave soon okay and yes, I he just would... starts walking back <laughs> but you must take with you that one and he points at the red-haired, blue-eyed one. That one cannot stay here. And, he says, and you must leave with me something of value to you. Or else you will never find what you seek. Your choice. Mm.
doesn't sound like we have a choice. I, of course, I, I have a choice. Well, I think they meant the choice of what we should leave. I think we should leave something of value here, everyone, and then... Y'all can leave something of value. I'm not leaving something of value. Thing yeah, is said, everything... leave a thing of value. Didn't say things. Yeah, yeah. You guys have something you want to leave. You can leave something, but I'm not leaving anything either. It could be someone. I always have room for more. <laughs> Daniel's face. She <laughs> 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 just no. <laughs> Atropos, perhaps you wish to join your sisters. Rithelian, do you wish to join your mother? Bulwark, your master. Harrison, your family. Damien, your admirers. Castian. Well. You can't do shit, can you? <laughs> <laughs> You're not the lady of the lake seems to like you. That's her sister, I think. <laughs> this is how conspiracy theories get started, Damien. I would know. Should you not choose, I will choose for you. Think of it as tax. You came to my place. Right. Could could we? Right. Could we? Could we have another moment to like talk to ourselves while we determine what to leave you? Whoa, whoa, whoa! I We're are, whoa, 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 whoa. No, it's not fun. No, it's not fun. I got an idea. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. Right. Um. Quite. Everybody, huddle up. Or whatever. I want to. I want to imagine that we're all huddled up, shoulder to shoulder. Yeah. So is Harrison, but he's just dangling in between two people. Yeah. <laughs> Aww. There's another fan art for you. Like, right. <laughs> what? What if we? I look up. Is no one far away from us? Like giving us room? Uh, yeah, he's I... sort of giving you... Mm. you. You're not sure he might be able to hear you, but. All right. Okay. This is his. This is his internal tower area. For all you know, he can It's hear his domain, all. yeah. It's his domain. It's his lair. Okay. He might have lair actions if you attack him. What if... Right? And I, I kind of stick my little hand out and I cast a uh, minor illusion and create a small illusion of, like, a trinket. Like, all right, what if we try to trick him? Take the little redhead, blue-eyed person and then run before he realizes that, like, we didn't really leave anything behind. You think we could trick someone in their own domain? I can just... I have this, like, alchemy jug. I can just leave this. It's fine. <laughs> I don't drink right. stuff. Right, but is that important to you? It sounds like it has to be, like, sentimental. I mean, I, mean, I made it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's I made an art it. project. It's cute. Good job, buddy. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, oh, I signed it right here. I was gonna say you just use little macaroni pieces on the outside. I think I think I have something I can leave everyone if we want to get out. I have something I can leave. Or right, we could fight our way out. Granny likes a rumble. <laughs> <laughs> God, Granny's fucking rules. Granny's, Granny's bad the baddest. Oh, yeah. I love Granny. <laughs> Either way. Whatever we decide, I stand with all of you. I'm down for well, I float. I, 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 I do not favor tricking this entity. V, would you, would you fight it, or should I leave something? I think we should leave something. I do not think that we are sent here to to fight or destroy this thing. I believe it is. It, I believe it is a herald, or to to, to point us uh, in the way we, we we need to go. All right, I will. Then I can leave something, everyone. I will walk over to uh, to no one. Mm -hmm. I will and take no one, my. No one looks at you and 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 point and uh, gestures towards the horizon and says, "It is almost time." I'm I'm going to leave something of value, and I'm going to take my staff and um, kind of, like, twist it a little bit and mm -hmm. 
it the top comes off and this wood staff breaks apart into and it's hollow inside and right in front of no one I pour out the ashes that I keep in my staff metal and then I will go and I will twist it back and I will say I'll leave that here if that will let us leave no one looks at you and you don't know that no one's looking at you because all you can tell is like you know the shoulders and the sky cloak and there is no there is nothing in but but no one seems very very still and and finally no one says I will admit I did not expect such a gift Atropos. I cannot accept it. But it will be as if you gave it. This and no one holds out the, the ashes in like sort of the folds of, of, of their cloak. This is the key to your journey. I will not take it. But because you were willing to give it, I will guide you. And as if by radar, <laughs> no one finds the little the little book that you have on you, Granny, and gives a little tap. Like with its, like I guess with like with the, the the cloth in in its, where its finger would be, but it's cloth, and and says, this will help it open, the way, I mean. Take your friend, and take that small, that small urchin. They're of no use to me. They're too strong for this place. I don't want them here. You, I would have. But you have a different destiny. And no one sort of gestures up at the stars. And for a moment they wheel quickly as if in fast motion, as if like, you know, three hours of, of the night have passed in, you know, 10 seconds. And no one says to all of you, the door is open. Do not ever come back here. If I need you, I will find you. This tower is not yours. You don't belong here. You belong where the stars fall. No one claps the sleeves of its sky cloak together. Suddenly, you're all in the bright light outside the door of the tower, which is now extra locked <laughs> with like <laughs> 10 padlocks and like a big sign that says, keep out. And like, no boat owners. <laughs> extremely, no. extremely not. And the. You know the, the 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 young person with the red hair and blue eyes is there with you, looking very confused, dressed in rags, and they immediately go to Bulwark and grab onto Bulwark and say, "Will you take me home?" Of course. And that is the the game. For this evening. Cool. Oh, the, the, and uh, that's you the game. All, that was it. Season it, one it, over. You you so you, there were like three times where you were about to be like smashed into pieces <laughs> by a very, very powerful being. And you weren't. Yay. Thank Yay. God none of us uh, you know, provoked it or anything. <laughs> Damien, yeah, you yeah, you, you, uh, you, 
y'all nailed that one because that could have been bad for you guys. Um, but it wasn't, at least not as far as you know. <laughs> All righty, guys. We will. We live in another. We live in another week. Exactly. We're live. I, I read your English yeah. book. I got you. Guys, my dogs go <laughs> to the end of the stream. If you can yeah. hear me over them, it's the end of the stream. We will be back 